I figured we'd run into some trouble. Good thing we had help. For sure. Thank you for the backup, Miss Makoto. Anytime. I'm the one who asked to tag along in the first place. The least I could do was assist you. Seriously, you've been such a huge help. Agreed. We're really making some good time, cruising through with an extra person on the team. Right? When it was just the three of us, I was worried that we wouldn't make it. It's good to have you around this time. I'm sorry, Belle. Our behavior forced you into a dangerous situation, and I deeply regret it. Please, don't even worry about it, Miss Makoto. It's water under the bridge. <laughs> I hope I can find a way to make it up to your party. Ah, you're fine. The middle floors, huh? Don't do it again. This is no time to oh, let no, down I our guard. Never. But it seems like we're starting to get the hang of things. From here on out, I'm going to keep pushing forward. And then, I'll be one step closer. I'm going to catch up to her. Congratulations on your rank up, Wealth. Thanks, buddy. Level two, huh? You know, since you're one of the Hephaestus Familia's best blacksmiths, everything you make will be worth a lot more from now on. Well, I'm just relieved this means there's less of a chance I'll tarnish Hephaestus' good name, you know? But sadly, this is probably the end of our charming little party as we know it. Uh the whole reason you joined us on our journey in the first place was so you could rank up and acquire some smithing abilities, right? I guess now that you've done that, this is it then. <laughs> Quit looking at me with those sad puppy dog eyes. <laughs> you think I just ditched you guys because I got what I wanted? Uh, <sighs> Count on it, kid. Ow! Ow, Stan! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Although, it's too bad Makoto didn't come with us tonight. We're not exactly strangers anymore. Well, she did mention that she had a previous engagement. Don't you think that maybe she's just being polite? Since she is from a different familia, after all. But the three of us are all from different familias, too. <laughs> now that you mention it, I guess we are. Hey, Master Bell! Have you gotten any closer to ranking up yet? Mm-hmm. My ability level rose up quite a bit after we got back from the 18th floor. Are you kidding me? I finally caught up to you and you're already almost a level three? That's just not fair! Come on! What do you expect? <laughs> You, don't talk so much. What's all this talk about a level three? Hmm? I don't give a fat squat how fast you say you've gotten that high. The fact of the matter is, you're nothing but a big damn liar. You're a scared little bunny boy running away from monsters and using your friends to rank up? And now you piggybacked your way to almost level three? If I were that pathetic, I'd be too embarrassed to show my face in public. <laughs> Here we go. Just ignore the little twerp, Master Bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! These must be his absent-minded misfit buddies! A blacksmith who can't sell his crap, and a pint-sized supporter brat? I guess they're a fitting bunch for the phony rookie! <laughs> 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 of course he would pal around with the rejects. I mean, what else would you expect from a weakling and a puny familia? What a sad freaking joke. They obviously have no dignity. Just look at their leader! A no-name goddess whose only redeeming quality is her giant floppy boobs! You take that back! <gasps> Please calm down, Master Bell. Oh, whatever. You're only mad because you know it's true. Come on, just admit it. It must be humiliating having to serve that bimbo runt of a goddess! <laughs> Oops, dropped my beer. <laughs> Anybody want some more? I'll play along. That's all you've got, little rookie. And I was just getting started. Is he from the Apollo Familia? That would be Phoebus Apollo. He's known as Hyacinth. I've heard that he's a level three. The punishment for hurting my friends is severe. Accept the consequences of your poorly chosen actions. <laughs> I 
didn't want to do this, but you're ruining my good mood. Now you can either shut up or get the hell out. I'm afraid I've lost interest. We're leaving. Yeah, you handled that real well, rookie. <laughs> well, don't ask me. Master Bell! Please tell me you're okay! What was his problem? It was totally nuts. Kinda didn't expect you to come back in such rough shape, though. <laughs> what a naughty boy you are. I'm not sure if I should be proud or concerned. You hear that, Master Bell? You've been acting all sorts of reckless lately. And it's all Master Wolf's bad influence! Hey, don't try to pin this on me, little bit. And can you be a little more gentle with me? No, I cannot! Regardless, you should be more careful about the fights you pick. Just look at all these bumps and bruises. <laughs> yes, but... Those guys were jerks. They said awful things about you, Goddess. When I heard them disrespect you, I lost it. It actually makes me very happy to know that you're ready to jump to my defense. But I don't like the idea of you putting yourself in danger. So just be careful. But Goddess... Do your best to laugh it off if it happens again. Just promise me next time you'll think to yourself that I wouldn't want you to stoop to their level, all right? Okay, I'll do better if it happens again. I'm sorry, goddess. Anyway, I can't help but wonder what was up with those guys. I was thinking it was jealousy, but something seemed off. Did you catch what familia they were from? It was the Apollo familia. What did you say? You got into a fight with the Apollo familia? That's right. Goddess Hestia was disappointed. <sighs> Then I suppose there's no need for me to scold you any further. But I should remind you that as your advisor, this is not the sort of thing I like to hear. I'm sorry, Miss Aina. <laughs> well, what's done is in the past for now. Just be careful from now on, okay? We don't want to cause tension between familias, or else the city could turn into a battlefield. Uh, yeah, you're right. So, are you heading for the 13th floor then? Yeah, I think we should be able to handle it from here. Very well. You do your best out there, okay? I will. You're Belle Crennel, correct? Uh, yes, that's me. Here, pass this along to your goddess, then. Huh? I'm Daphne, and this is Cassandra. As you can probably assume, we're from the Apollo Familia. And that is a formal invitation from Master Apollo himself. Not that... We actually care whether you come to the banquet or not. <laughs> We've done our job. Let's go. You have my sympathies. Uh. Hmm. What well, was that? Just a friggin' coincidence that they decide to invite us now of all times. Man, I had a feeling they weren't going to just let it go. So is this an invitation to the banquet of the gods? Exactly. And it looks like things are going to be a little more interesting this time around. Apollo and I didn't exactly get along back in heaven either. Anyway, I've got a plan! We'll enlist Miyak and Take. Then we can all go together! How does that sound, Val? Huh? Go together? <laughs> to be nervous you'll be fine i hope so oh apollo you're a real cunning devil making us bring one of our children along i guess even he can have a good idea every now and then you have my gratitude oh. hestia our clothes and our ride you really did take care of everything for us oh please i do anything for naza a girl should pamper herself now and then you have my deepest gratitude lady hestia well, I think Takami Kazuji should be here any minute now. Shall we head inside? Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, hey, Hestia and Miyak. How wonderful. You brought Belle and Naza with you. I see you're as obnoxious and loud as ever, Hermes. Though I'm surprised to see you and Take together. To be honest, I'd rather be pretty much anywhere else. 
Now, that's not very nice, Takami Kazuchi. We worked together during the mission to rescue Bell and his party. Come on, I thought we were better friends than that. Get off me, Hermes. Oh my, Makoto looks just lovely this evening, and you two are certainly dressed to impress. But may I avert your eyes to this beast? My dear Ospie cleans up nicely, doesn't she? Um, please don't try to embarrass me, Master Hermes, or I might have to punch you. You're cute when you're bashful, you know that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today! Oh, our host has made his big entrance. So that guy is... Master Apollo? That's right. It would appear so. I want to make this event more interesting and shake things up a little. I hope everything is to your liking. The act of dressing up our precious children and showing them off at our banquet is such an indulgent treat, is it not? Well said, Apollo! It fills me with great joy to see my brethren and their children. Quite a splendid night indeed. You know, I feel I will make many new friends this evening. I consider myself truly blessed. <laughs> Come now, the night is young! Please enjoy yourselves to your heart's content! to chat with Apollo? Uh, not quite. I was just thinking Goddess Hesty and I ought to at least say hello, though. Apollo and I go way back when all of us gods lived in heaven. He's a real firecracker. Plus, he never seems to run out of stories about his love life. <laughs> Isn't that right, Hestia? <laughs> yeah, look, <what> I know! <laughs> He's also known for being... quite ruthless. Huh? Wait, can you elaborate on that? Oh, it appears another celebrity has arrived. Wait, who is that? Surely you must have heard of her. Patron goddess of Freya Familia? That, my friend, is Lady Freya. Lady Freya? Don't you dare look at her, Belle! If you Go stare at a goddess of beauty for too long, you'll end up falling under her spell! Well, if it isn't Hestia, it's been a while. Miyak, Takami Kazuchi, I hope you've all been well. <laughs> We're great, now you can move along. Uh, hello. You look as divine as always, Lady Freya. <clears throat> I wonder if I'll get to see something spectacular this evening. Hey, I don't think so! And what the hell are you getting all flustered for? A goddess like her won't hesitate to gobble up any man she can get her hands on! Don't you realize she'd chew you up and spit you out in an I apologize for any unintentional offense I may have caused you, darling Hestia. Please excuse me. There you are, little imp! <laughs> Miss Eyes! And when exactly did you show up, huh? I guess you're just too boring for anyone to notice your presence! Oh, shut your trap! If you want to complain to someone, do it to that little Hesse Freya! Eyes and I were supposed to make a grand entrance, but she had to steal the spotlight! Well, sure, blame all your shortcomings on her! Are you dressed like a man to avoid the embarrassment? like you would never understand. Uh, so, I see you brought your little puppy along. You know, honestly, he isn't much to look at. Not like my gorgeous Icy Poo. Damn move. Let's go, Eyes. Took the words right out of my mouth. Let's go, Bell. <laughs> I see it now. The rift between familias. I guess this is just the way things normally are. I don't think I really fit in here. I feel so out of my element. Huh? That looks 
looks like. Oh, there you are, Belle. Master Hermes. What are you doing out here? Don't tell me a spicy cutie caught your eye. Uh, no, that's not why. Well, since we're both here, mind if we have a quick little chat? So tell me, Belle, just why did you become an adventurer? Oh, um, because my grandfather told me as a kid that Arario is filled to the brim with women and riches beyond our wildest dreams. He also told me to find a beautiful goddess and join her familia, and then to pledge my life to her. That's about it. <laughs> oh my gods. You mean he told you that as a child? <laughs> he also told me, when the time comes, to go out there and be a hero. Well, your grandfather sounds like a real hoot, if you ask me. So anyway, are you going to ask anyone to dance? Uh, no, absolutely not. Besides, I don't know the first thing about dancing. Come on, you don't want to disappoint your grandfather. Some of the world's most beautiful women are here. Not everyone is this fortunate. Now's your perfect chance to make a move, kid. Um, yeah, but... Well, if you don't do it yourself, then I suppose I'll have to give you a little push. <gasps> if it isn't the lovely sword, princess, may I, the humble and unassuming god Hermes, please have the honor of this huh? dance? I've suddenly remembered a matter I must attend to. What a wretched man I am, abandoning a lady after inviting her to dance. May I request your cooperation, Belle? Please kindly come and dance with the sword princess in my stead. I'll leave you to it. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, rookie, okay? Wait a what? Master Hermes? <laughs> May I please have the pleasure of this next dance, milady? Why, of course. <laughs> it's Master Miok. Uh, do you... <clears throat> May I please have this dance with you? Please? I'd love to. Avoid stepping on her feet. You are an adventurer, aren't you? Look her in the eye. You don't have to be an expert. It's all about confidence. going to regret this later. <laughs> I've already accepted my fate. Say, Otar, do you think it might be possible to lead a herd of minotaurs in here? I don't think so, Lady Freya. I've never danced with anyone before. Is that the truth? Mm -hmm. I think I like it. Thank you. Esteemed guests, how are we all enjoying the banquet? <laughs> Bell! 
Salutations, Hestia. I heard a rather nasty rumor our children had a bit of a run-in. Uh, uh, yeah. I suppose they did. One of mine suffered serious injuries at the hands of your child. And I'd like to request some compensation. But, what are you talking about? I'll have you know, Bell was in pretty bad shape as well. He's not the only party responsible. Can you still make such a claim when you see this? It hurts! Ow! Ow! The pain! Jeez, uh. Bell. Did you really do that? No, I didn't! I swear, Goddess! As I'm told, your child was the one who started the altercation. There were witnesses. You can't talk your way out of this! <laughs> He's backed her into a corner. <clears throat> ah, what a joke! I won't just stand here and be insulted! We're leaving, Belle. Oh. You intend to ignore your child's wrongdoings, dear Hestia? <laughs> You've left me no choice! As head of the Apollo Familia, I challenge you to a war game! Yeah. 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 Apollo doesn't mess around, does he? I can't wait to see And if we win this clash, then Belle Cronell will belong to us! As head of the Apollo Familia, I challenge you to a war game! Apollo doesn't mess around, does he? I can't wait to see who wins! And if we win this clash, then Belle Cronell will belong to us! <laughs> Do those terms sound agreeable, Hestia? I'm going to take your sweet child over myself! That was your goal all along, wasn't it, you creep? What an awful implication. Please, dear Hestia, I thought you knew me better than that given our carnal past. That's a friggin' lie, and you know it! I've shot down every pathetic advance you ever made! You know, I am done entertaining this nonsense. I don't have to agree to a war game! Oh? I think you may regret that. I really doubt it. Now let's go, Belle! Huh? Uh, sure. So is a war game basically a battle between two opposing familias? Yeah. And once the rules have been decided, it turns into an all-out war. The winner gets to take literally anything from the loser. Members, goods, money, pretty much whatever they want. Damn him! He's such a bully, he knows full well that you're the only family I have! <sighs> anyway, I'm going to the dungeon with Wealth and Lily today. I'll head straight on home afterwards. Okay, then I'll take off early from work. Let's have a nice, relaxing night. Huh? <gasps> What's with all the racket so early in the morning? Uh, that's... Huh? It smells like gunpowder out here. A feud between Camellias. Seems like it, huh? Wouldn't surprise me if Mr. White here is involved some meow. That's just a rude thing to say. Uh, are you alright, goddess? Yeah. That smarmy bastard. He's totally trying to force our hand. Wait a sec. Is he? We're being ambushed by the Apollo Familia! Stop it, you jerks! How dare you destroy our sweet little love nest! Uh? Here they come, Belle! <laughs> they were able to take cover in the smoke. I can't believe they would attack us in the middle of the city!
it while you're ahead. <laughs> Remember these words. When Master Apollo takes a liking to someone, he'll stop at nothing to get his hands on them. That's how Cassandra and I ended up here. City after city, country after country. He'll follow you wherever you go, until you give up. My little bell! <laughs> Just surrender. I wouldn't want to injure you if you're going to join our familia anyway. I will not. Yeah, I figured as much. Fine, so be it. Fireball! Fast, I'll give him that. But he's not going to get away. This is such a waste of our time. Hey, Daphne. I really don't think provoking that boy is that great of an idea. Why is that? You have another one of your bad dreams? Mm-hmm. I saw a wounded rabbit running, then it jumped over the moon, only to swallow up the sun. If things keep going the way they are, I'm afraid something terrible will happen. Yeah, yeah. Enough dream journal crap. Let's move or we'll lose him. Oh, you should take me more seriously about these things. He's sure taking his time. Yeah, it's unusual for Master Bell to be this late. So it's not just me getting a bad feeling. Hey, did you hear? The Apollo Familia just started throwing down in the middle of the city. Sounds like they're after Hestia's Familia. Apparently, they're all ganging up on that little rookie guy. <gasps> what was that? They're attacking him? Yes, it seems like the whole Apollo Familia is out there trying to hunt down Mr. Argonaut. It's causing a huge mess. Hmm. Don't go getting any ideas, eyes. This isn't the same situation as what happened on the 18th floor. We don't want to look like we're siding with any familia. You understand? I do. Oh, sorry, I'm so slow. I know I'm weighing you down, Belle. It's not your fault, Goddess. Huh? you on your efforts of getting this far, young Bell Cronell. Now rejoice, for I will be your next opponent, little rookie. It makes no difference. I'm certain that they've already considered the penalties of their actions. Come on! They're trying to wipe out the Hestia Familia even as we speak! I'm afraid our hands are tied. At the end of the day, there's only so much we can do. But, Belle... Although I absolutely despise you for stealing away Master Apollo's love and affection, I must obey his noble command. I shall be the one to recruit you into our familia. Too slow. Do you always make such a racket? Still 
conscious, are we, Bunny? What a disgusting, pitiful face. I'll never understand what Master Apollo sees in a vile insect like you. I have devoted my entire body and soul to him. I should be the only one to receive his grace. Since we're going to patch you up later, I don't see the harm in taking off an arm or one of your legs. Exactly why I hate high class adventurers. Bell, run. Great, a sniper. No matter, he won't get very far. Sorry, my goddess. If this keeps up... Looks like you guys are having some fun down there. Hope you don't mind us joining in. You dare defy the will of the Apollo Familia? We'd be cowards to abandon our friends in their time of need. Attack! <laughs> <laughs> So I ran to Takumi Kazuchi's place to get you some backup. I'm glad we made it in time. Oh, Mia, you have my gratitude. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> Master Bell, <gasps> let's get out of here. <gasps> <gasps> They've got this under control. <gasps> I found him! It's the little rookie guy! Uh There's no time to waste. Now go. to us you need to get to the guild immediately we'll be right behind you once we're finished here but lily go we got this thanks we're counting on you a little bit cover me yeah sure thing but are you sure you can handle these chumps without master bell here yeah piece of pie small fry <laughs> not too shabby don't you think you gotta pay attention! Same to you! <laughs> Don't get distracted by worrying about me! I finally found you, Ard. Uh. I'm glad to see you're in good health. I heard through the grapevine you were deceased. <laughs> Lil Bet! What's the holdup? Where's my cover? Lil Bet! Master Wolf, I'm going home to the Soma Familia. Please let Master Bell know that I won't be causing trouble for him any longer. What in the hell? Hey, little bit! Where are you going? Hey! Damn, what's going on? <clears throat> that emblem. Where'd he go? Find him! Right! Are you doing okay? Can you stand? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh. 
you've still got a ways to go. Can you push yourself a bit more? Oh, Veltranel! Listen up! No matter where you try to hide, we're going to track you down. You're only delaying the inevitable outcome! Whether it's here, or deep down in the dungeon, we will find you. Your days of peace and quiet has come to an end! I can't hide. <laughs> hey, Bill. Listen. From the way things are headed, we won't have a future. We've got two options. Either we fight a losing battle we can't possibly win, or we leave Orario. <sighs> I'm honestly fine with going anywhere. All that matters is being with you. I'll gladly run away with you until they finally decide to give up and leave you alone. You'd run away? With me? <laughs> Belle, I want to know if you love me. <gasps> this is really important. If you can tell me that you love me, then I will do whatever it takes. If you say it and you mean it, I will do anything. Even if I have to fight! Uh. I love you more than you'll ever realize. You've no clue how dear you are to me, and I never want to leave your side. I don't want to give you up. Goddess Hestia. Belle, I just need to know how you feel about me, though. Hold you in high regard. You uh, know that's not what I mean. <laughs> there he is, down there. What? Uh, let's move it. Got it. They got some nerve. We were about to have a moment. Oh, I've had it officially. Bell, go southwest. Forget the guild. Go oh, that way. What? But wait, isn't that... The Apollo Familia's base of operations? I know Apollo's in there! Open the gates right this instant! Estia, to what do I owe the pleasure of such an unforeseen visitation? <laughs> hey, Prim, uh, let me borrow your glove. Uh, sure, here. before long. Belle! Lady Hestia! Huh? Wilf! Are you alright? Yeah, but some bad news. I, I'm sorry the Soma Familia took Lily. They what? <gasps> Hold it! The... I think it would be best for you to focus on your job, Belle. We'll handle saving your supporter. Wait, what? Focus on my... <gasps> I'll figure out a way to buy you some time before the war game starts. In the meantime, you have to get as strong as you can. That's our one and only chance at winning this thing. Get stronger, Belle. Stronger than everyone and everything. That's what it'll take. I know you can do it. No, Belle. You're the only one who can do it! Right! I'm on it! 
You don't understand. Please, I'm begging you. There's something I have to ask her. Please let me see Miss Eyes Fallenstein. Are you out of your damn mind? We already know why you're here. You want to ask her if she'll fight with you in the war game. Just how shameless can you be? That's not it at all. I promise. What's with all the yelling? <sighs> Miss Tione. You better get the hell out of my sight. There's absolutely no excuse for such disgraceful behavior. War game. Please, can you train me? Mm -hmm. Well, that settles it then. And with my assistance, you're totally gonna whoop their pompous asses, right, Mr. Argonaut? Thank you both so much. Together, we can do this. I have to get stronger. For everyone's sake. Strong enough to beat him. The missing Lily Ruka Ard has finally returned to us. She has seen the error of her ways and will devote herself to the Familia. Master, just... I beg you, please allow me to leave the Familia. Master Soma! Honestly, I assumed you were smarter than that. Listen here. If you wish to leave, you must provide compensation. It's that simple. Compensation? Oh, yes. It is only proper to repay Master Soma for the generosity he has shown you over the years. I believe around 10 million Valis would be appropriate. 10 million? There's no way I can get that much! Is that fair, Master Soma? I'll leave it all to you. You're a pathetic fool, Ard. Our god only concerns himself with his wine. You can beg and plead all you want, but he'll never listen to you. Besides, leaving the Familia goes against our little agreement, does it not? I finally found you, Ard. Uh, Master Zadis. I'm glad to see you're in good health. I heard through the grapevine you were deceased. Why? Why are you working with the Apollo Familia? Aside from the fact that they sought our help, we have a very good reason for joining this skirmish. Which is? To take you back, Ard. <laughs> you are an invaluable member of our Familia. We can't stand idly by while another steals you. We are well within our rights. You're doing this because of me? <laughs> Do not fret, Ard. You were deceived, threatened, and abused by the Hestia Familia. We will take care of them. Please, stop this! I'll do anything if you just leave Master Bell and the others alone! And I will even go back to Master Soma! So please, no more! Our men have pulled back, so we held up our end of the bargain. It'd be wise to return the favor and serve the Familia. And what exactly is it that you want me to do? We know you possess a peculiar sort of transformation magic. How would you know that? Master Soma informed me. He may only care about wine, but he still listens to his second-in-command. <laughs> I'm going to work you into the ground both for myself and for the benefit of our familia. <laughs> Don't you go anywhere. Hmm. It's almost time. 
It won't be long now. I can't wait. The war game's coming up. I wonder how that'll play out. Everyone seems to think that Lady Hestia isn't going to show up to the meeting with the other gods. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen Mr. Whitehair around recently. You don't think they're planning to skip town, do you? Mr. Bell won't run away. Huh? Yeah. No, not him. He would never. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh. Well, we'll be rooting for him. I finally got a lead on where they're keeping Miss Supporter. She's at one of Soma's storehouses near the canal. They have a wine shipment scheduled to go out tomorrow. We're gonna wait for security to die down at night and then make our move. I understand, but Lady Hestia, may I ask one quick question? What is it, Oka? I would have to assume your top priority is winning the war game, yes? I just feel rescuing Lily Ruka Ard will do nothing to help you defeat your enemies. Are you sure it's in your best interest to be worrying about her right now? Hey, you. Watch it. Without her, huh? Bell won't stand a chance. <laughs> He's out there right now, desperately trying to get stronger for the war game. And knowing Bell, if we don't save his supporter, then there's no way he'll be able to focus on the fight that's ahead of him. He knows the weakness of being alone, and the strength that comes from having friends. Besides, I promised. I told him to let me worry about getting her back. And as a goddess, I can't go back on my word. All of this is connected. If I can rescue Lily Ruka, Bell will in turn grow stronger. And I could use all your help. I got your back, little lady. I'm in. Let's do it. We're with you. <laughs> is Hestia toying with me? Don't tell me she's postponing again. She fell ill. It's out of our control. Apparently, she's been fighting a severe fever ever since the day you sent your children after her. She's totally faking it. The Lion Lilstrom's just waiting to make a break for it in the middle of the night. <laughs> I have had just about enough of this charade. I suppose the guild will have no choice but to declare the war a forfeit at this point. Uh. Hey! I'm sorry I'm late. I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If we win, we get Bell. No wigglings, loopholes, or vetoes. And if we win the war game? I will do whatever you desire. Hey, scribe! Make sure you got all that down. Now you're gonna have to decide how you two will duke it out. And you better not pick something too boring. <laughs> Considering that Bell is my only child, what about a one-on-one -on -one battle between two delegates? <laughs> your lack of members is a result of your lethargic nature. Asking me to accommodate that would be unfair. <clears throat> Perhaps we should gain perspective by hearing the opinions of others. How about if we collect some suggestions and draw one at random? And you're sure about leaving this up to me? I trust you'll be neutral. Go ahead, have at it. I'm counting on you, Hermes. <laughs> Yikes, oh boy. <laughs> it's a castle siege. <laughs> Well, then that settles it. I won't humor any arguments, Hestia. <laughs> Out of all those choices, why'd it have to be that one? Yeah, no kidding. He just had to choose a battle where numbers matter most. Defending a castle single-handedly would be next to impossible. As such, you may take the offensive, Hestia. <laughs> may I make a suggestion? Now, I realize I don't exactly have room to talk. But this whole thing seems a bit one-sided. Would you be willing to allow Hestia some outside assistance? Denied! Foreign help from the Warring Familias is forbidden. Violating the rules would be both an insult and an affront Are to- Are you afraid, uh Apollo? Hmm? The idea of a few extra bodies appears to have shaken your confidence. Is the trust in your own children's abilities really that temperamental, dear? Yeah! yeah. 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 What she said! Lady Freya has a point. Freya? Yeah. 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 Oh. Hey! Do not mock me! Okay, fine. I will graciously allow it. 
However, only one helper, and that individual must belong to a familia outside of Orario. How doth you favor them apples? Trivial. Very. He's so petty. We're clearly at a disadvantage. But considering the whole situation, I'm really grateful Belle's getting at least a little bit of help. Do you know who you're going to ask yet? Finding an experienced adventurer outside of Auraria will be tough. I have one idea, and I'll have to leave the negotiations to Hermes. We'll worry about that later, though. First, we have to focus on rescuing this supporter! How are you feeling today, Ard? Miserable. I need you to absolutely swear to me you called your dogs off Master Bell and everyone else. Yes, I wouldn't lie. More importantly, I've come up with our next sting. We're going to use that transformation magic of yours to bring in some cash. That's what this is all about? You mean you singled me out just to make a quick buck and send people to hurt Master Bell and Lady Hestia and What's my so friends? wrong with that? I want Master Soma's special wine! Money and women and the finest cuisine! I want all the pleasures this miserable world has to offer! <gasps> you don't know how much I love this familia! I can commit crimes all day long and our benevolent god doesn't give a flying shit! I do whatever I want! It is the perfect setup! Your mask is slipping. <clears throat> Whoopsie. Regardless, you will cooperate. We'll go to the dungeon tomorrow morning bright and early. Uh, what's that? Seems a pack of rats snuck in. And it looks like they got a young goddess with them. <laughs> I see. We'll just have to exterminate the vermin. Wait! But what about your promise? You said you wouldn't hurt Lady Hestia and the others! But they're here to attack us, Ard. I have no choice. If you hurt them, I will never help you! Oh. <gasps> then perhaps I'll force some wine down your throat. <laughs> You'll soon become a slave to your desire for more. You remember it, don't you? That bliss. <laughs> Very well, then. Keep an eye on her, Chandra. Yeah, smug bastard. I've got to find a way out of here so I can help Lady Hesty and the others escape. But why? I don't much care for that prick. I ain't gonna say nothing. Do whatever you like.
evil. Why does she insist on me? Why? If you can drink this and still make the same request, I'll hear you out. Listen to her drivel, Master Soma. We're under attack by enemy forces. This is no Hush, time Sonis. to... Uh... from the bottom of my heart. Will you please hear me out one last time? I want to thank you, Lady Hestia. If it's okay with you, I'm gonna run ahead so I can properly thank Miss Mikito and the others. Sure. I'll join you guys in a minute. Hestia, did I really bestow my blessing upon that child? Yes, you did. While you were wrapped up in that leisurely hobby of yours, she was alone and in pain. You put that little girl through hell, and now she's stronger because of it. You might take a long, hard look at what that says about you. Thank you all so much for your help. Don't forget, the real battle is just ahead. Right. I'll do my best to help, but we're still nowhere near the Apollo Familia in terms of strength or numbers. I'll see you around. Let's call it a night, yeah? We should head out. Uh, right, Master? <sighs> oh, right.
really do want to help Hestia. I'm not exactly sure what I can do. There must be some way. I have a request, hmm? Master Takumi Kazuchi. Hmm? Please, sir. May I join the Hestia Familia to help Master Bell? Huh? So you're telling me you want to convert to the Hestia Familia? And you think that I'll just allow such a selfish request on your behalf? Honestly, the goddess I know and love would be furious with me if I didn't give this a try. What happened to wanting to create a weapon more powerful than magic swords? Well, as long as that passion's inside me, I can forge weapons anywhere. Know who I learned that from? You! <sighs> One last question. Why are you so bent on doing this? I need to know. For my friends. <sighs> Pretty please, Ryu! You are the only member who meets all the criteria that Apollo set forth. I promise to make sure no one finds out who you are. Please! Come on, do it for me! Please, Ryu! I don't think Mamma Mia is gonna be too happy about this. Rushed in. Monsters and people fight very differently. Monsters will attack relentlessly. People observe their opponent and wait for a chance to strike. And whenever they see an opening, their movements will become easy to predict, much like yours were just now. I learned something a long time ago. Landing the final blow is a step away from one's own demise. Your best chance is to catch them the moment they think they've bested you. Don't forget that. Right! Thank you! I had been toying with the idea of eliminating Apollo if he kept up with his pompous foolishness, but... I'll refrain. I'd be a drab deity if I weren't a bit interested in seeing how this all plays out. Good to be home, my goddess. Welcome back. You ready? Let's do this! Now, you be extra careful out there, okay, Belle? I will, I promise. Please tell everyone else the same, too! And let them know I'll be waiting patiently for your triumphant return! I'll be back soon! Just hang tight! Hey, aren't you that little rookie fella? Uh, yeah. Thought so. We're all rooting for you in the war game, kid. Yeah, good luck. Give him hell. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Mr. Bell! <clears throat> oh, Miss Seer, don't hurt yourself! Take this! Huh? <clears throat> it's a good luck charm and adventure at work gave me. It's supposed to protect you. <clears throat> Miss Seer! Come back home safely, no matter what. Hmm. Shutting ourselves away and waiting for the enemy to strike makes for such a dull game. Daphne, the castle will surely fall. Cassandra, are you afraid we'll lose? I hope this isn't about another one of your dreams. 
Never fear. If the commander survives for just three days, we win. Or if we defeat the enemy's commander before that, we win. Trust me, there's no way we could lose in this situation. Please, believe me just this once, Daphne. Please. That should be the last of it. Close the gate. We'll lose if anything gets beyond the wall. Hey, wait! Hold on a second! <laughs> Why didn't you hold the gate? Oh, hey there, Luan. You're so puny, I didn't even see you. <laughs> huh? What did you say? Perfect timing. Come help us move this stuff. <clears throat> okay, how come I'm the only one pulling this thing? Shut your trap! Just do it! I fear it's too late. The Trojans have led the horse inside. Good morning, Auraria! The much-anticipated day of the war game is finally here. I, Avery Archer, will be your host for the big event. You may also know me as Fire Inferno Flame. It's a pleasure to be here, folks. And providing commentary for us today is Master Ganesha. Master Ganesha? What are your thoughts? I am Ganesha! Insight. Oh, wow, it's getting pretty lively down there. Look, I know a war game is one of the many ways the city generates its revenue, but there's honestly no need to make such a spectacle of our children. Well, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hmm? Well, looky who's here. Hestia. <laughs> Have you and Belle Crenell said your goodbyes yet? Once I've triumphed in this war game, and taken him as my own child, you'll never set foot in Orario. No, the lower world ever again! It's almost time, Master Hermes. Right. Let's get started. Uranus! Permission to use our powers! Granted. Thirty thousand on the Apollo Familia. Fifty thousand for me. You know how it works. You don't get jack if you all bet on Apollo. Hundred thousand on the Hestia Familia. <laughs> you insane, Mord? You want to rethink that? <laughs> I don't mind taking his money. <laughs> you just wait. It's about to get started. It's gonna be a long three days. I doubt we need to worry about it. Huh? What's that? Well, here we go. Looks like there's only one of them. Let's do it! Magic swords? I see. A decent strategy. However, we number well over 100 members. And you have what? A measly five? I wonder if your children can overcome those odds. Croso magic swords. Never thought I'd see the day when I'd need to use these. Look, 
The swords are gone! Now's our chance! Get her! Uh, an elf? O oh God of strength and bringer of destruction, I do humbly beseech you. Please grant me guidance from the heavens. The enemy is now invading! And it looks like she's headed straight for Hyacinth! Someone stop her! Anyone! Traitor! Using the accursed magic swords that burned our homeland to the ground? You're a disgrace! Yeah. Unfortunately, there's something more important to me than holding a grudge held by my kin. If protecting my friends makes me a disgrace, then I suppose I'll just have to live with that! So strong! Do not waver! Now let's go cut her down! Descend from the heavens and take hold of the earth! Responses. Countering Ryu's magic swords and quickly dealing with Mikito, it just seems a bit dubious. Do you think someone's feeding them intel? Information is a weapon in battle. And the earlier one obtains it, the more potent of a weapon it becomes. However, if a bit of poison slips through the cracks, it won't be very long before it spreads. All it takes is one drop for everything to come crashing down. What is he doing? <laughs> Yo, nice disguise. Thanks for all your hard work, Lily. Please, you go on ahead. I'm going to stir up a little more trouble. <laughs> yeah! ma'am. Damn it. Well, then we're gonna need to cut them off before they're able to get any further. Mages, start chanting. Archers out in front. Fire on my signal. <laughs> Their commander's up in the tower. Go, Bell! Run! Everyone, fire! Ignite! Heretic Black! Hold it right there. <laughs> Adventurers let their swords do the talking. Right? Oh my gosh! Look at that, Ice! Mr. Argonaut has already made it all the way to the tower! Wait, they have magic swords. Why didn't they just use them to charge the tower in the first place? The bunny boy wants uh. to take him down with his own two little paws. He's a guy. He can't help it. Thank <laughs> you. 
What a pitiful performance. You're an embarrassment to Master Apollo. Please listen to me, Commander. You must flee this place at once. What? I'd hardly consider him a threat, especially on his own. Please, I'm begging you. You have to get out of here before Shut the... your mouth! <laughs> I want you to blast him the second he walks through that door. But do not kill him! That pleasure belongs to me! I fought before. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I am love, the treasure of light. I offer this body to the almighty sun. You have to let me go. Ring of fire for my enemy. Come forth, westerly winds. <laughs> there is no escape! Fireball! It's no use! Rubbery! actually managed to survive that, did you? Now I don't care what Master Apollo wants anymore! Die, you bastard! And whenever they see an opening, their movements will become easy to predict. I learned something a long time ago. Landing the final blow is a step away from one's own demise. My best chance is to catch him the moment he thinks he's best of me. I think that's mine! Go! Take it! Get out! 
You two, get out of my sight! Mr. Bell. Thank goodness. Mr. Argonaut's so dang cool! I guess the kid really came through, didn't he? Hey, Bet, where are you going? Wherever I feel like. Dungeon, I guess. Yep, the dungeon for sure. Either that or the tavern. You did very well. That's great. No! No way! Oh, Apollo! <sighs> I assume you've already said your goodbyes? Wait! Let's not be rash! I talked big, but it was in jest! Your child was just so cute, I couldn't help myself! Please! Shut your mouth! I seem to remember you agreeing to do whatever I asked if you lost! Isn't that right, Apollo, dear? <laughs> you will give up everything you own and disband your familia and then leave this city forever! You will never set foot in Aurorio again! <laughs> I can barely believe it, but we really pulled it off. Yeah, we did. I know we had to get a little creative, but I think we should be proud. Yeah. Wealth. Miss Mikoto. Miss Ryu. Thank you all so much. And you too, Lily. I really owe you one for saving me back there. Master Bell, do you actually think I was that helpful to you? Yeah. I get to go back home. And it's all thanks to you. <laughs> you decided to take the Apollo Familia's mansion then. Listen, they're the ones who chose to blow up our old home. It's kind of hard to feel bad for them. Right. Well, we have quite a bit to get done around here, but first things first. <laughs> Are those flames? They're to represent Lady Hestia. Flames of protection. And that's a... bell? Wait, that's... A bell? Oh, so it's Lady Hestia and Master Bell. <laughs> exactly. And starting today, this is our Familia's emblem. <sighs> Thank you for everything. Be sure to look after your health. Exactly. Winning the war game, duh! Or Lady Lily officially joining us? It's about the finished renovations, right? Yeah, all of that's important. However, are we not forgetting something else? Huh? huh? Awesome. <laughs> Little guy's the real deal. 
That's our captain for you. What? Y your captain? We all decided on you. You were Lady Hestia's very first recruit, after all. That would make you the most qualified. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Captain, how about you start off the meal by doing the toast for us? Um... I keep thinking to myself about how lucky and grateful I am that my friends decided to join our familia. So here's to the new Hestia Familia! Cheers! Cheers! Gotta admit, this place cleaned up nice. Especially considering what it looked like when we got here. Master Apollo sure had interesting tastes. <laughs> It was unsettling, to say the least. Master Goibnu's familia did a great job with the remodeling, as to be expected from the god of architecture, and he followed all of the instructions I gave him down to the very last detail. So? Huh? That means... Wait, even the stuff we asked for? I'm in heaven! It's exactly as I'd hoped. Wait, no. It's even better. It has the traditional wooden tub! Don't mind if I do. Takami Kazuchi. Everyone, I couldn't resist. I hope you can forgive me. Oh, yeah, this'll do just fine. Expected no less from the Goibnu Familia. <laughs> I know exactly what tickles a blacksmith's fancy. This is it. To new beginnings. It seems like they were pretty excited about everything. I'm so happy, Belle. Me too, Goddess. I know you won a lot of money in the war games and all, but isn't this going a bit overboard? These renovations look like they weren't too cheap. Think of it this way, Lily. Considering that both Welf and Mikato so graciously chose to join my familia, I needed to make them feel welcome, you know? I get where you're coming from, but... Well, I like it. You know, renovations aside, it's very spacious. Don't you think the upkeep alone is going to be insane? We could always just hire a live-in maid or something. A maid? That's a great idea! On second thought, let's not do that. Good call. Huh? Why the change of heart? There's no way I'm going to let in even more competition for Belle's love under my roof. I'll have to come up with a screening process for new recruits. Speaking of, I'm invoking my authority as your goddess to make your room the farthest from Belle's. What? That's an abuse of power! We're leaving. Hmm? Come on. I don't wanna. Quit whining and get moving! Let me go. You have to believe me. Huh? Little rookie. Miss Daphne and Miss Cassandra? What are you doing here? What does it look like we're doing? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I lost my pillow. You're what? <laughs> Don't mind us. Apparently she's managed to lose her favorite pillow. Do you have an idea where you might have left it? Um, well, I don't remember, but... Uh... Uh -huh. I had a dream. I left it here. Knock it off! How many times have I told you to stop it Please, with that nonsense? Please, you gotta believe me just this once. Wait there. I'll go take a look. Huh? You said it's here, didn't you? Got it. It was wedged behind a pillar. Oh, thank you so much. 
He believed me. What? Hmm? Really? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Hmm? We're gonna head out, but we'll be back soon. We have a little business to take care of here tomorrow. Tomorrow? Wait, you mean you don't know? Uh -huh. Why didn't you tell me, goddess? <laughs> so, I guess that means you found out, eh, Belle? Are you shocked? Of course I am! You never recruit new members on your own! Our familiar's name has acquired a bit of acclaim ever since the war game, you know? Can't let this opportunity go to waste. Don't you think that maybe you're rushing into this? I mean, the three of us just joined. Not at all. In fact, now's the perfect chance for us to grow and expand. <gasps> the Hestia Familia is going to climb to the top of Erario. The, this is amazing, goddess! <laughs> they won't call us a dinky little familia much longer, right, Belle? Hooray! Hooray! They're in a chipper Hooray! mood, huh? Well, can you blame them? I mean, look at this turnout. It's not just humans. Elves, dwarves, animal people, even Amazons. A lot of them aren't even adventurers. Don't you think that's a little odd? <laughs> They're from other cities. Huh? Some of these people have traveled a long way, just in hopes to join our little familia. Kind of crazy how our reputation spread like wildfire, isn't it? What? <laughs> I guess you weren't joking around when you said we were getting famous. What you doing, little bit? Considering that these people could very well become our allies in the future, I have to check them out and make sure they aren't potentially dangerous. What? Dangerous? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Absolutely not! This outfit is obscenely lewd! Where do you even buy clothes like that, you harlot? <laughs> Ah! No, 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 no way! She just distracted us with her adorable childlike innocence! We've got that trope covered! Uh... Hmm. Hmm. No, ah, we're not doing that either! Nope, go away! Huh? Think of Master Bell. We don't know what might happen to him. We can't trust any of these tramps! Oh, good grief. Dear gods, what shameful behavior! I've fallen victim to the temptation of an early bath and squandered the morning away! Where are my clothes? Not touch? Is this Lady Hestia's handwriting? <gasps> Do not open. Thank you all for coming. I'm the patron goddess Hestia. <laughs> I'd like to start by expressing my gratitude to each and every one of you. By choosing my familia, it's clear to me that you are vastly more intelligent than your average adventurer. <laughs> and what's this about? Don't have a clue. I'm dying to see your fighting spirit! Do you want to join us in the Hestia Familia? Yeah! Is that a Hestia? The very Hestia? Yeah! Do you think Belle's freaking cute? Yeah! Okina, do you love hunting on potato poppers? Yeah! And your pigtails, the cutest! I'm already used to dealing with a strange god. Fireball! Okay, let's get this party started. We'll begin with one on one interviews. What's the matter? I. I found this in a box.
Well, that didn't last long. Yoo-hoo! I don't... understand. Uh... Huh. That's Lady Hephaestus' signature. Huh? Lady Hephaestus? Oh yeah, right here, Lady Hestia signed it too. It definitely looks official. Yeah, it's real all right. for his knife. However, you should have at least told him how much. You traumatized him so badly he can't even get out of bed. And Master Bell was so looking forward to recruiting new members. <laughs> anyway, do you know how much money you have left from what Master Apollo gave you? Yeah, that money? It's all gone. What? But there was so much! The remodeling ended up being more expensive than I thought. But at least we have a nice new home to live in now. I guess we've got no choice. It sounds like we'll have to go back down in the dungeon. That's right. We'll have to take on more quests, too. Hold on! I was never asking for your help with it. I'm the one who took the loan. I'm not going to force my debt on you. I'll pay it back myself. Oh, yeah? All 200 million? Uh, I can do it! The cost of that knife is proof of my undying love for Belle. I can't let anyone else pay it back for me. Yeah, yeah, calling it undying love won't make it go away. Silence! Either way, I've got it handled, okay? The three of you don't need to worry about it, so just forget it. End of discussion. Where are you going? To my room, okay? Good night. Uh, what do you think? I think she ought to learn to rely on us a little more. Hmm. Uh, morning, sunshine. Uh, Wealth? Where am I? How about I fill you in later? Yeah, so hey, you want a bath? A bath? <sighs> I'm the worst goddess. Whoa! It's even fancier than I imagined! <laughs> Look, Belle! Bell? You're right. Miss Mikoto has a good eye for detail. Not that I mind, but I think she might have overdone it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm noticing that adventurer's bod you've built up, kid. Uh? You've got a lot more muscle than you used to. You really filled out. Y you think so? <gasps> Yes, I do. Like uh, here. Uh, hey! And oh. here. Uh, oh, it definitely is. <laughs> and this is very impressive. <laughs> How much do you bet, bro? Oh, uh, Lady Hestia? Huh? What are you doing over there? Shh! Be quiet! I'm spying. It's how a lover shows their true feelings. <sighs> you look like you're feeling a lot better. Uh -huh. You collapsing had us worried. Oh. It's not worth it to stress out, okay? <sighs> hey, Wealth, thanks a lot for joining us in the Hestia Familia. Hmm? Where did that come from? I mean, I just want to make sure I thank you properly. And Lily. And Miss Mikoto, too. I... I'm really happy. Getting to live together and share a home with everyone? It's kind of strange, isn't it? When we first met... I would have never dreamed things would end up this way. No kidding. I never would have guessed it either. <laughs> <sighs> Same with Miss Mikoto. 
We first met her when she dumped all those monsters on us in the dungeon. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. However, she's saved me so many times since then. She went so far as to leave her own familia behind, just so she could help me out in the war game. I don't know how I can ever repay her. Yeah. Oh. And then there's Lily. I was a complete stranger to her, and yet she taught me so much. I owe it all to Lily that I was able to become a real adventurer. She's always by my side, no matter what. She was my very first friend. Master Bell. <laughs> and of course, my goddess. <coughs> She's the one who found me in the first place. <laughs> She's the one who gave me a place to belong. Ever since I first came to Auraria, She's always taken care of me. She always says she's a bad goddess. But to me, she's the best one ever and the most important person in my life. Uh. Oh. Oh. It's like everyone is always doing such nice things for me. Uh. I feel kind of bad about it. You shouldn't. Huh? I know it might seem to you like we're always helping you out, but you do the same thing for us, Belle. Looking out for each other is what a familia is all about. I didn't know. Oh, no. My bell. Oh, no. Goddess Hestia? everything was okay, but I won't pretend anymore. I'm going to pay the money back, no matter how long it takes. I'd like everyone's support, so I'm going to ask for your help. I'm an awful goddess, and I know I've accumulated a mountain of debt. <laughs> but can you stick with me? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to the Hestia Familia! And whatever adventures await us! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> oh, I was kind of hoping for wine instead of water. Coming! One moment! Can I help you? Oh, Lady Chica's, uh, um, you're just in time! We were about to sit down to dinner, so if you'd like to join... Nikito. Hmm? The night is young. Let's not keep the clientele waiting. Show those men the time of their lives. Let your desires collide. Waste no time, girls. Lose yourselves in the throes of savage passion. Oh, I uh, think I'm going to turn in early for the night. Okay. Good night. Good night. All right, let's follow her. It's been a long time since we've tailed someone. This feels kind of wrong. I had a feeling she was up to something. Looks like I was right. She's a terrible liar, just like a certain someone we know. Uh, uh isn't that... I knew Chigusa was involved somehow, too. Where are they headed? No freaking way! Here? <laughs> uh, hey, Wealth? Are we really where I think 
we are? Uh, I'm scared. Yeah, smack dab in the middle of the pleasure quarter. <laughs> well, I can't blame them. If they're having a secret rendezvous, it makes sense they wouldn't tell us. But why'd they come all the way out here? Those two are obviously out of their element and stick out like two sore thumbs. We should probably get going. We don't want to lose them in the crowd. Uh, right! <laughs> I had always hoped that Master Bell would never set foot in a place like this. Hey, baby. Let's I'll say this. Tiger. This place hasn't changed much. I remember the sights as well as the smell. So you've actually been here before? Just once, when the crowd I used to run around with dragged me with them. It wasn't really my scene, so I hightailed it out of here. Hey, pretty boy, I like your white hair. You like what you see? <laughs> We're good, thank you! Seriously, where on earth do they think they're going? Oh, crap. Hurry! <laughs> you know what that means. It's happy hour, you little heathen. <laughs> Wait a sec. Let go. Come here, bro. Oh, you guys really saved us back there. I swear, we cannot thank you enough. If you don't mind me asking, what brings you to this part of town? We had a hunch something fishy was going on with you. So we took it upon ourselves to follow you. Remember, we're a familia now, so we don't keep secrets. We're in this together. I, I'm sorry. Please don't be upset with Miss Mikato. Besides, I suggested we come here. Do you mind telling us what this is all about? The truth is, Lady Chigasa received word that an old friend of ours from the Far East is working somewhere within this red light district. So when you use this word working, you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah. She was once a very dear friend of ours. We all used to play together as children. However, she vanished one day and has been missing for quite a long time now. Unlike the two of us, she's a direct descendant of noble blood. I couldn't believe it. Someone like her would affiliate herself with a place like this. So I wanted to come here and see her with my own eyes before discussing the matter with the rest of you. Quite the fall from grace. <laughs> I get why you're concerned. But it wasn't very smart of you to just rush in here without a plan. Again, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we should get out of here. We can help you what? gather information uh, and find your friend's whereabouts. Little bit. Do you know where Bell went? Huh? huh? Wait, are you saying Master Bell came with you? Uh. Ah! <laughs> 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 Which way should I go? Demi-human with fox ears? A Renard? Oh, that you, Belle? Uh, Master Hermes? Well, surprised to see you in a place like this. <laughs> Suppose you're about that age, though, huh? You out here to see a special lady? Uh, no, that's not why I'm here. What are you doing here, Master Hermes? Hey, now, it's rude to pry about personal affairs. Now let's do each other a favor and pretend we never saw one another here. Sound agreeable? Uh, yeah, sure. I know. To validate our pact between sensible men, I got something for you. What is this stuff? An aphrodisiac. <laughs> See you later, Belle. Here's hoping we both have an exciting night. Ow! Uh, wait a minute! I, I really don't need this, though. P please take it back! <laughs> I'm so sorry! Are you alright? You're new around here, aren't ya? Oh, you seem a little wound up. <laughs> you can call me Aisha. And you are? So how about you buy me for the night? Uh, no, thank you! I'm not here for... Why can't I move? <laughs> oh, don't bother fighting it. Who you got there, Aisha? Your client for the evening. I just ran into him. <laughs> He's got an innocent face, don't you think? 
Oh my gosh, he's adorable. So cute. First time in the pleasure quarter, sweetie. Oh. Hey, um, Aisha? Doesn't this yummy snack look like the little rookie? Mm -hmm. You mean like the one from the war game? I think you're right. He has the white hair and red eyes. You telling me this kid's the record holder for quickest rank up in history? Well, lucky me, I'm the one who found him. Step back, this one's mine. Aww. You have the wrong idea. I got separated from my friends and my familia, and I was trying to find them. P please let me go. Yeah, that's real sad. But do you want to explain this? Looky, top-notch stuff here. What do you mean, top-notch? All right, you're coming with us. Please allow us to show you to our humble home. No, it's not like that! I can't tell you the reason why I have that junk, but you've got it all wrong! <laughs> I'm begging you! Please let me go! I'm not here for anything like that! You just don't know when to quit, do you? I'm calling dibs after Aisha's done with him. What are you talking about? I get him next. Aisha, is that human your catch for the night? Lady Ishtar. Huh? Please don't look at Lady Ishtar's face! Uh, come on, please don't take this one from us. It's not fair when they fall under your spell. Please? <laughs> I have a client to attend to this evening. I have no time to fool around with a little boy. That's Lady Ishtar? Huh? Then this is... The Ishtar Familia's home! Yeah, the Ishtar Familia is among some of the most influential familias in all of Arario, and while there are several reasons for that, however... I don't think you really need to know the reason why! Ah, uh, I understand now. Why is this happening to me? What do you not understand about me getting him first? Fail. Oh, hey! Someone help me get Lena off of him! Sadly, all of our rooms are occupied. You can wait here until one of them opens up. Though personally, I don't mind if we get started right here, my little bunny. Uh, uh, aren't you worried? Uh, I'm from a different familia after all, and um, uh, letting a strange adventurer into your home might Please. not be a very good. Uh, <laughs> we do this kind of thing every single night. Come on, don't you know anything about us, Amazons? We like to capture our men and devour them whole. You're not leaving until tomorrow morning. Maybe even the day after, if you're lucky. <laughs> We're going to suck the life right out of you. Wear you down until you can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think I smell some fresh meat. <laughs> and what do you want, Freine? Where are your manners? You know that's no way to speak to the captain of your familia. Aisha, dear. I thought, you know, the war game. The idea of playing with the little rookie sounds mighty fine to me. <laughs> and you're just my type. Oh, I don't think so. We caught him, so this one belongs to us. You know I've grown so tired of all the undeserving men nowadays. Let me have a teeny tiny nibble. Oh, hell no! Do you have any idea how many times you've had a bite and practically destroyed them? Well, it's not my fault. I'm the only one who can truly satisfy. Perhaps my beauty is just too much. While I know Lady Ishtar has some redeeming qualities, she can't match all this. She's gonna eat me? <laughs> what a load of bullshit! Men are avoiding us like the plague! We have to drag them back here! It's all thanks to you, you lumpy cockroach! Don't you sass me! A bunch of ugly tramps like you are just jealous of my bewitching allure. You should try looking in a mirror, you bloated toad. You're getting on my last nerve, kid. How about we settle this like real Amazons once and for all? Bring it on, you giant freak. Him. It's not just their home. The 
the Ishtar Familia has control over the entire Red Light District! If I don't get out of here, they're bound to catch me! Where's the exit? Where? There he is! <laughs> I've been awaiting you, my lord. Uh, what? I will be attending to you this evening. My name is Haruhime. <sighs> Please, come right this way. I'm the one who came barging in, after all. I suppose I owe you a proper introduction. I'm Haruhime. Uh, I'm, a uh, Bell Cornell. Nice to meet you, Master Cornell. I hope you don't mind me asking, but if you aren't a client, what are you doing here? Oh, well, it's because... Hmm? Oh, I see. Sounds like you were being chased by Miss Aisha and the others. I was. You know who she is? Of course. Honestly, she has always been very good to me. Is that so? I can see how it would be difficult for someone who's never been here before to find their way out. Once the sun comes up, I would be more than happy to show you the way to the exit. Uh, are you sure? Yes. We may never meet again after tonight. But I would like to help you out in whatever way I can, Master Cornell. <sighs> Seeing as how we have some free time... Uh would you perhaps mind if we talked until it's time for you to head back home? Uh, sure thing. So then, Master Cornell, did you come to Orario to become an adventurer? I did. I... kinda had this dream. Plus, I was completely broke, too. How interesting. As for me, I ended up in this area from a place called the Far East. The Far East? That's right. It's a land blessed with natural beauty and four loveliest seasons. However, I was sadly disowned by my family when I was only 11 years old. Your parents disowned you? I can't imagine what kind of people would do such a thing to their child. I incurred my father's wrath. There was nothing I could do. So many things have happened since then. And I finally wound up here. I was sold off to the Ishtar Familia. <sighs> oh, but... In truth, I had always longed to see the city. Theater productions based on the stories about Aurario are quite common back in the Far East. Like Dungeon Oratoria? Those are good. That's right! There's also this one I liked about the knight who traversed a labyrinth on his quest for the Holy Grail. Yeah, that's the Adventures of Gerard! The one where the queen was suffering from an illness, so he searched for the grail to cure her. Oh, wow, you know of it! What about the one where a sorcerer rescues a genie sealed away inside of a lamp? The sorcerer Aladdin! Yes, that's it! Miss Haruhime, do you like stories about heroes? I do! I love them! Delivered as promised.
I'm sure you are well aware, but you are not to speak a word of this to anyone. Come on, I know better than that. I do not intend to betray your trust. Although, I'm curious to know what you need it for. You looked inside? I didn't mean to, just sort of happened. I'm going to show the world something very interesting. That woman acts like she's queen, but she'll be groveling at my feet soon enough. You goddesses sure are scary. Hermes, do you have any information that would be worth my while? Her weakness, perhaps? If I did, I'd have told you already. You and I both know it's impossible to lie to a goddess of be- <laughs> Dillard the Wanderer and the Legend of St. Giorgio. You sure do read a lot of stories, Miss Haruhime. You're rather impressive yourself. You probably know as many as I do. I only know the ones about heroes. It seems like you know a whole lot more than I do, honestly. I must say, my favorite story of them all is actually about a hero. It's been passed down for generations. A brave warrior saves a girl from being attacked by an evil demon, despite his small stature. That's the inch high guy, right? I want a hero to take me by the hand and lead me away to a better place. I want to be just like the girl in that story. But I know it's nothing more than a selfish, empty dream. I don't deserve to be rescued since there's not much value in me. No, that's not true! <clears throat> a true hero would never leave someone like you behind. Of course you're worthy of a life. You are very kind, Master Cornell. I appreciate it, but... I'm not a tragic princess, nor a saint who's fallen victim to false accusations. I'm just a prostitute. <laughs> I'm still inexperienced, but I share my bed and give my body to plenty of gentlemen. I didn't get a chance to wait for someone who would sweep me off my feet. Rather, I've made a living by selling myself. Why would anyone want to rescue a woman as disgraceful as I? Besides to a hero, prostitutes are harbingers of ruin. Ever since I resigned myself to this fate, I've had no right to enjoy those beautiful stories anymore. I'm not allowed to hold on to those dreams. After all, I'm just a prostitute. I suppose we should get going. I had a wonderful time speaking with you tonight. Thank you very much. If you follow this road, you'll run into Daedalus Street. Miss Aisha shouldn't be able to find you all the way out here. Go on, quickly. What are you doing? Oh. You'll catch a cold. Go home. Belle Cornell, huh? I don't get what's in that woman's head. Why does she want a brat like him? Okay, then. I'll just steal him out from under her. So you stayed overnight in the red light district, huh? Yeah. Lady Hestia? I told you, this is all my fault. Master Bell wasn't- I don't want to hear it, Mikato! <gasps> now be honest with me, Bell. Did you get all the fun out of your system while you were there? What do you mean? Uh, uh, no, I would never! Well, I can't help but wonder what exactly you were doing all night long. Mind explaining why you had this on you? Hmm? <gasps> now let's do each other a favor and pretend we never saw one another here. Sound agreeable? Uh, I promise I didn't do anything questionable. <laughs> Lady Hestia? <sighs> Our children can't lie in the presence of a god. Belle must be telling the truth. <sighs> However, I will not excuse.
is you going there? The fact that you even stepped foot in that sort of place is totally unforgivable. Like I said, I wasn't there on my... I have no choice but to punish you. Go make yourself useful around the neighborhood. Okay. <sighs> I really disappointed Lady Hestia. Mr. Hero, please save mm -hmm. me! Why would anyone want to rescue a woman as disgraceful as I? I wish I could have said something to make her feel better. Master Bell! Uh, Looks like you could use a hand. Huh? But this is my punishment, though. As I recall, we were right there with you. We're just as guilty. We have to take responsibility, too. Although, I am pretty curious as to what kept you there all night long. Uh, <sighs> My selfish behavior caused all the trouble. My apologies, Master Bell. Don't worry about it, Miss Mikoto. So why'd you go to the pleasure quarter in the first place? I, I was searching for someone, specifically a Renard. I had heard she was somewhere within the district. Renard? Sadly, I never did find her. By any chance, is her name Miss Haruhime? <gasps> Who told you that? Do you know something about her? Uh, well, the truth is... I see. I didn't want to believe the rumor, but I guess she really was working in the brothels. Someone as innocent as her. Miss Mikoto. What if... Don't you dare even think about going back to try and save her. Hmm? Lily? We just barely made it through that whole war game thing. Are you already picking another fight? I hope you realize what a huge burden you'd be putting on Lady Hestia. <laughs> Come on, little bit. You don't always have to be the wet blanket. I, I'm just trying to help! As a member of your familia, I gotta agree with little bit here. We can't go putting ourselves at risk. I would agree, Belle. Don't worry about it, okay? Please just try to forget about this whole thing. I'm begging you, Mia! Just one message to Lady Freya. You think you can show up out of the blue and bark odors at me? Whatever it is, you can tell her yourself. I'm genuinely afraid for my life this time. Plus, Belle will be in hot water himself if we don't do something. Wait, how's the kid mixed up in this mess? Listen, Mia, it's not good. Ishtar has her sights set on him. Huh? Why the hell is she coming out of the woodwork? This one was out of my hands! It wasn't my fault, I swear! What do you mean when you say Belle is in hot water? What have you done? Ah! See her! Also, how does Lady Ishtar even know about him to begin with? I don't suppose you took him to a house of ill repute, did you? Uh, uh, of course not. I swear to the gods. You wouldn't lie, would you? Imagine what would happen if he found out otherwise. Seer, good little girls don't go around threatening gods, you know. Val? Uh, Miss Aina. <laughs> so let me guess, something on your mind? Uh... Please, I can read your face like a book. I don't think I have to say it, but I am your advisor. You can tell me anything. Right! You spent the night in a bordello?! It was out of my hands. Well, I suppose you are a typical boy after all. So I can see how you might get curious about that sort of thing. But... but I... I can't condone it! Uh, Don't ever go there again! Do you hear me?! Please forgive me! So you wanted to know about the Ishtar Familia, is that correct? Yes. They're a top-class familia in terms of both their track record in the dungeon and their business exploits. And a fair share of their combatants are at level three or higher. Friday Jamil is their captain, and a first-class adventurer at level five. Huh? Miss Friday? And from what I heard, even Miss Wallenstein was nearly defeated by their captain once. What? Miss Eyes? Although that was several years ago. I believe Miss Jamil was a higher level than Miss Eyes back then. That makes more sense. Say, do you know anything about an Amazon named Aisha or a Renard named Miss Haruhime? Everyone knows Aisha Belka. 
She's a level three, but she's supposedly close to ranking up. As for the Renard... Hmm... I'm not seeing her on the list. She could be a low-ranking non-combatant. Why is it you want to know? No reason. Hey, listen, Belle. Look, I shouldn't really be telling you about this, however... Yeah? Around five years ago, several familias... They made some serious accusations against the Ishtar Familia. Their power was allegedly far beyond that which had been officially reported to the Guild. They were lying about how strong they were? But why? Yes. The Guild investigated the claims but found no evidence to support them. However, that wasn't the end of it. Huh? Ishtar countersued, levying a harsh penalty against all the Familias involved. Many of them ended up stripped of their authority, and then ultimately they were dissolved. Huh? Beyond that, Ishtar demanded compensation from the Guild. She claimed confidential info was leaked during the investigation. Lies. She took money from the Guild? Mm. This placed us in a rather precarious position, and we've been unable to intervene in the Red Light District ever since. <sighs> Bell, the Ishtar Familia is much stronger and more fearsome than they appear. If I were you, I'd avoid them at all costs. It's just like Lily said. If I get mixed up with the Ishtar Familia more than I already have, I'm going to cause trouble for Goddess Hestia and everyone else. Hero stories. Thou art evil, whore of Babylon. How many men hast thou deceived, seduced, and driven into ruin? Atone for your sins, vile woman! The hero falls prey to a prostitute, nearly resulting in his downfall. Then, he casts her aside, restoring his honor once more. Besides to a hero, prostitutes are harbingers of ruin. A prostitute could never stand at a hero's side. Oh, Grandpa. What should I do? Hey there. We won't bite you. Haruhime. Haruhime. Oh. Yes, Aisha? Something wrong? You look out of it. No. You caught me daydreaming is all. A dream that will never come to pass. I came across a merchant selling those on the street. He said it's a type of candy from the Far East. I'm truly grateful for your kindness. Thank you. No need to thank me for something so trivial. Uh. Hey, Haruhime. Huh? Over here, it's me, Mikoto. <gasps> Don't you remember who I am? We were friends. We ran around the fields back in the Far East. Quickly, come with me. Sorry. I don't think I know you. <gasps> I'm afraid you're mistaken. Now, if you will excuse me. No, don't go! Lady Harumi! What? You saw Miss Haruhime? I did. However... She wouldn't acknowledge me. She claims she didn't know me. I don't believe that. <sighs> Miss... Mikato... So what kind of person was she... back when you were younger? Lady Haruhime is the sole reason that I received a blessing to join a familia. I owe her everything. Lady Chigusa, Master Oka, and I were brought up at a shrine in the Far East by Master Takamikazuchi, as well as the other gods who live there. We lived in poverty, but it was warm and loving nonetheless. Lady Haruhime's mansion sat at the foot of a nearby mountain. She was born into a family of nobles and had rarely set foot in the outside world. But at some point, she must have heard about the shrine. Father, I couldn't possibly eat all of it myself. Can we please take it to the gods at the shrine and share it with them? 
That was the first time in her life she had asked anything of her father. We at the shrine became acquainted with Lady Haruhime, and yet, Master Takumi Kazuchi couldn't bring himself to ignore this lonely, sweet little girl locked away inside her mansion. Go on, why don't you bring her outside to play? <laughs> that sounds just like him, honestly. Admittedly, I also felt compelled to become a hero. I wanted to try and erase the girl's pain, who kindly saved us with her generosity. So that's when you received your blessing then, huh? Yes. After acquiring my status, Lady Chigusa, Master Oka, and I, we headed to the mansion. We would slip past the guards and bring Lady Haruhime out to the mountain almost every day. Eventually, the guards caught on. We had to get a lot more creative if we wanted to outrun them. I was so proud. I felt as though I had returned the favor. Just making her smile meant the world to me. <laughs> Not long after, we left the Far East behind and traveled to Orario. Our plan was to earn money and send it back home to the shrine. But while we were away, we heard rumors. Someone very cruel had betrayed Lady Haruhime and sold her into slavery. <gasps> She's out there suffering. I want to do everything I can to help her. Let's do it. Huh? Um, I mean, it'll be like what you and the others did for her. You know, back then. Yes, but we're not children sneaking out of a mansion. Much more is at stake. Hmm? Huh? Master Hermes? <gasps> hey there, Belle and Mikito. What were you doing back there? Huh? Oh, uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure you were safe is all. Uh, safe? I mean, I just wanted to check up on you. Glad to see you're okay. Bye. Wait, Master Hermes? <gasps> what is it? Do you know much about the situation in the red light district? I see. Your friend was bought by the Ishtar Familia. I have to agree with Lily. I cannot advise trying to break her out of there is a good idea. It would certainly start a fight. <sighs> However, if she's a prostitute, that's a totally different story. <gasps> Prostitutes can be bought out of the industry. Really? It's not unheard of for clients to buy them their freedom. For a hefty price, of course. In fact, it's happened several times in the past. Okay, but even if it's possible, is the Ishtar Familia really just going to let her leave? Well, that all depends on her role. If she is one of their skilled fighters, things might get a little dicey. That's not the case! I believe she is a low-ranking non-combatant! Well, there you go. Ishtar may not be perfect, but she is still a goddess of love. She should let her go. As long as you pay her accordingly, that is. So then... How much exactly? It would depend on her value, of course. But I've heard estimates around two or three million. <gasps> that should be easy. We should be able to earn that in no time. If you two don't mind, it might be helpful for me to know the girl's name. That way I can put some feelers out to see what Ishtar thinks about it. <gasps> Haruhime! Her name is Sanjono Haruhime! The same age as me. And she's a Renard. Hmm. Yeah? Yes! Master Hermes? As a courier, it's frowned upon to disclose the identity of a client or the nature of a parcel. But I've got a soft spot for you two, so... I'll say it. The day that I ran into you in the Pleasure Quarter, I was actually on my way to deliver an important package to Ishtar. It held what's called a killing stone. That sounds dangerous. Hmm? That's about all I can reveal for now. I'm off. Catch you later, Belle. Mikito. So what do you suppose a killing stone is? I've never heard of it before. 
But at least now we know how to rescue Miss Haruhime. Right. You must retrieve the little rookie. Huh? What did she say? It appears Freya is infatuated with young Belle Cronell. Yet for some reason, she hasn't made a move. I will take him before she has the chance. I can only imagine the look on that hag's face when she learns I've taken her little prize away. <laughs> that is so tacky, Lady Ishtar. Right? I won't tolerate any snacking once you've caught him. That means you, Freine. You have a tendency to ruin every man you get your hands on. Ah, oh, come on. What a rude thing to imply. Not my fault men fall madly in love with all this succulent meat. <laughs> Nevertheless, I get him first. I'll give him to you once I'm completely finished with him. Then you may feast. Oh, very well. When the full moon finally arrives, we complete the Killing Stone ritual. And as soon as we're finished, we wage war against Freya. Knowing we have her precious boy, she'll be unable to sit idly by and be forced to engage. <laughs> and how should we capture the juicy little rabbit? I leave that to you. But do it away from prying eyes. The Freya Familia cannot know of our plan. You know what that means. Just one choice, girls. <laughs> One shot of those Liger Fangs. You brought your A game. Impressive. Let's not get too comfortable, though. The pantry is just up ahead, and it's going to be full of hungry monsters. We need to be cautious. Onward, everyone! Let's get moving! Lady Mikato! We need to be careful! Thanks for coming along. We appreciate it, Wealth. Sorry I said some harsh stuff the other day. I know. When your mind's made up, it's made up. I might as well help you see it through. <laughs> mm. Just because he's on board doesn't mean I agree with what you're doing, you know? Yeah, I'm well aware. To be honest, though, I don't exactly mind all the money we've been making in the dungeon as of late. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you ever figure anything out about that item Master Hermes was talking about? Uh, no. A killing stone, huh? Hmm. I can't say I've ever heard of it. I wonder if it has something to do with Miss Haruhime. Master Bell, we're nearly at the pantry. Stay on guard, okay? Oh, right. For now, I've got to focus on defeating monsters and making money. If you want to hunt someone unnoticed, there's no better place than the dungeon. <laughs> it's almost time. Do it. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous, even for a pantry. Careful or we'll get separated. Move closer together, everyone. Aisha? What the? If you're angry, you'll have to take it up with a no rabbit goddess! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Otherwise! She's back! You only have yourself to blame for attracting her attention. <laughs> and she's strong! Is she really a level three like me? Ha! 
you're angry, you'll have to take it up with an erratic goddess! <laughs> uh, <laughs> otherwise! She's fast! You only have yourself to blame for attracting her attention. <laughs> and she's strong! Is she really a level 3 like me? to find us. Hmm. Not that that really matters in the end. Dungeon immediately. We must prepare. Miss Aisha. Please don't tell me the target we were after this whole time was him. That's right. It's per Lady Ishtar's orders. <laughs> Find that damn toad. That hag. She stole the little rookie so she could devour him whole. If she has her way with him, there won't be anything left. Report back as soon as you find her. Now go! Fun shall we have? <laughs> you can squirm all you want. No one's ever escaped my private chamber. Oh, and feel free to scream. It only excites me more. <laughs> what a tasty face. I can hardly wait. Now let's get started. Won't do. Wait here. I have a drug that will fix that. It never fails to make men want me. You won't be able to keep your hands off of this juicy thickness. Soon you'll be humping like the rabbit you are. <laughs> Get ready, boy. I'm gonna wear you out. I've gotta get out of here. Master Cornell? <gasps> Miss Haruhime! Shh! Shh! Lower your voice! She'll come back!
there. You're free. I was so frightened. Um, Master Cornell, are you? <laughs> so, anything? No, they weren't back there. Damn, what a royal pain in the ass. No Shiro Grasu. He must be out of range. Just where could he be? He's gotta be somewhere in this building. Find him. I had no idea there were secret passageways around here. Yes. If we follow the path, we can get to the red light district without being seen. By the way, thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh, what about Miss Mikato? Don't worry, Belle. I already gave her the keys to the cell. And knowing her, I'm sure she'll find her way out. But are you going to get in trouble, Miss Haruhime? If they find out that you helped me escape, won't they? I'm sure Miss Friday has already realized it was me. Huh? Only I know about her private chamber. But please, don't worry. <gasps> Tell no one what you saw here, Fox. No way! Then doesn't that mean you're in danger? <sighs> None of it matters now. <sighs> what is this room? And what's a killing stone ritual? Why did you say none of it matters now? It's fine. Please don't be concerned. <gasps> Setting the two of you free will be my final act of selfishness. I'm sure Miss Aisha and the others will forgive me just this once. Is something the matter? No, I just... Uh, um, Miss Haruhime. Yes? I wanted to tell you. We've come up with a way to pay for your release. <gasps> Miss Mikato and I have a plan, and our entire familia's on board, too. It might take us just a little bit longer to earn enough money, though. <sighs> Miss Mikato and I really want to help you. Uh, Miss Haruhime? I'm sorry. I just feel so incredibly lucky to think that you and Mikato would go through such trouble for me. Just hearing your kind words, I no longer have any regrets. Huh? Let's go, Master Cornell. Going up against the Ishtar Familia. We think so. The last place we saw Lady Mikito and Master Bell, we spotted several Amazons fleeing from the area. We even recognized a few from the Red Light District. Yeah, but what would be their motive? And why would they kidnap those two? <sighs> um, it may have to do with Haruhime. Perhaps they caught word of their plan to free her. Maybe they're trying to stop them. I don't know. I can't imagine a familia of their size would go so far as to protect a low-ranking member like Haruhime. 
Agreed. Renards may be a rare breed, but I doubt they care much about her. Assuming it has hmm? nothing to do with Harahime, why would the Ishtar Familia do this? That reminds me. Bell did say something about Ishtar recently. Huh? Yeah. I think he mentioned something about Hermes delivering a special item to Ishtar. Yeah, that's right, he did. What did he call it again? A something stone or whatever? Was it... a killing stone? Oh yeah, that's the one! <gasps> Are you sure? Are you positive he called it a killing stone? Yeah, I am. <laughs> So, um, what's a killing stone? Okay, listen. A killing stone is an illegal magic item. It takes a Renard's soul. Their soul? For what purpose? To put it simply, by possessing the stone, the user can wield sorcery. A powerful type of Renard magic. It lets anyone control magic? So it's basically a tool? Mm-hmm. Similar to magic swords. Not quite. You might say it's even worse, hmm? Only a fragment of a killing stone is needed to utilize its full effect. Just a piece of it? Yes. Even if it were shattered to pieces, just one sliver would be enough to wield sorcery. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why the stone is smashed to pieces as soon as a soul is sealed within. Wait, hold on a minute. Did you say smashed? Then what happens to the soul that's trapped inside of it? <gasps> what happens to the Renard's soul? Once the stone is broken, it cannot go back together. The soul also shares the very same fate. One split can never be... <sighs> No! Haruhime. Uh. I see now. And because Belle and Mikito got themselves involved. Take? A ritual must be performed in order to transfer a Renard's soul into a killing stone. It can only be held on the night of a full moon. Uh, wait, that means. That's right. It's tonight. So this is where it leads. Master Cornell? Huh? <sighs> Hurry. Now run far away. Master Cornell. Miss Haruhime, I think you should come with me. I would, but this choker is the magic item that keeps track of my whereabouts. My location is known to Lady Ishtar at all times. Therefore, I cannot venture any farther. Why does she. Lady Haruhime! Huh? <sighs> Miss Mikato! I'm glad you're... <sighs> I have just one thing to ask you, Lady Haruhime. What is it? Do you know anything about the Killing Stone? <gasps> this is crazy! You cannot be serious! Tell me you're not a sacrifice! You're a what? I had a feeling this would happen. <gasps> Miss Aisha! Consider yourself lucky you weren't devoured by Freine, but you shouldn't have stuck your nose where it doesn't belong. What exactly is it you're trying to accomplish here? We want war. <gasps> We're going to crush the Freya Familia. It is the divine will of our almighty goddess. But that's crazy! You think it's impossible? It's true, our enemy is the strongest Familia in Arario. However, that's why we have this Renard. 
What does Miss Haruhime have to do with it? You fool! She's powerful, you know. Don't you remember our scuffle in the dungeon? No way! So that was... That's right. I had a level boost. That's the sort of sorcery she possesses. Tonight, Haruhime will be our offering. And in doing so, she will become our strength. It makes no sense. Now wait just a minute! I don't understand any of this! Sacrifices? Offerings? You keep talking like Miss Haruhime is going to die! Because she is. She's sacrificing her life tonight. This plan has been set in stone for a long time. How could you do that? She's a part of your familia. She's your family. How are you okay with that? How can you treat her like a disposable weapon? This is wrong, and I will not stand for it! Such a passionate speech. Are you going to take her from me? I suppose it's war, then. We'll take out your familia, too. <sighs> Let me tell you the story of a lowly prostitute. There was a certain person the prostitute hated with every fiber of her being. She was a little Renard brat, who came from the Far East. <gasps> This impudent child had gotten herself tricked and sold off by some lowlife before finally drifting into town. The prostitute took care of her, but the Renard scamp had this dumb, empty smile like she had given up hope. She never opened up to anyone. She knew nothing of the world. She didn't even cry. The prostitute loathed the brat, despised her even. Until one day, she took out her anger in a foolish way. She destroyed a very important stone that had been brought to her home. Naturally, everyone found out what the prostitute had done. She was beaten within an inch of her life by a hideous toad of a woman. And then... And then... She was charmed and abused to the point of insanity at the hands of her very own goddess. And so now, that stupid prostitute can't bring herself to defy her goddess. Now do you understand, our familia? So, little rookie, what are you going to do? Are you going to come take her from me? Why do you waver? What's there to think about? I just... Is she really worth nothing more than your pity? Wait, I... Why the hesitation then? Your familia too precious? Are you afraid of going to war? Is that why you refuse to act? I expected more out of you, Belle Cronel. I cannot let you take Haruhime. That's not the face of a man. It's one of a spineless coward, a boy who can't make up his own mind. You can't bring yourself to make the sacrifice, can you? Poor little rookie. Why aren't you trying to catch him? <gasps> Please, just run! Master Bell! Master Bell! <clears throat> Why aren't you going after them? I'll just help myself then. Uh, hey now, it's not fair if you get a head start. <laughs> oh, cut it out. Quit your blubbering. <laughs> Thank you.
expect such a disgrace? I suppose it's war, then. We'll take out your familiar, too. I couldn't do anything. She saw right through me. Saving Miss Haruhime means going to war with the Ishtar Familia. And she knew... She knew I wouldn't risk it. I'm sorry. I just feel so incredibly lucky... ...to think that you and Mikito would go through such trouble for me. Miss Haruhime... supposed to do I know Bell and Mikato were in there let us in you have any proof I don't think so miss goddess yeah I'm sorry we're closed for the day plus we've been instructed not to let anyone through <laughs> I had a hunch they'd pull a stunt like this yep looks like they want to do this the hard way I'm back master any luck Unfortunately, no. All entrances are blocked off. And not just from the outside. They've also made it impossible to escape from within. Their intentions are pretty clear, then. It's safe to say they don't plan on letting anyone go without a fight. <coughs> My darling Bell is in danger of losing his innocence! What do you mean you still haven't found the little rookie? <sighs> You're one to talk. We're only in this mess because you disobeyed Lady Ishtar's orders. Don't give me that crap! It's that ugly tramp's fault! None of this would have happened if she hadn't felt sorry for him and let him go! Calm down, ladies. I have a suggestion. Why don't we just catch the little rookie and deliver him to Lady Ishtar after the ritual? It's not like we're allowed to have any fun with him anyway. We might as well let the kid roam around, you know? Sounds like they're further away. I'll go scout it out. I don't deserve to be rescued since there's not much value in me. I'm just a prostitute. Besides, to a hero, prostitutes are harbingers of ruin. <sighs> to believe that nonsense. It can't be right. All the heroes we read about are not like that. They just can't be. That is not the hero I want to be. Bell, it appears the pursuit has slowed down. It's time for us to retreat. Miss Mikato. I'm sorry. I'm going to save Miss Haruhime. Oh, but Master Bell, if you do that, then the Ishtar Familia will surely wage war with us. How on earth are you planning on taking- I don't know yet. Hmm? However, I'm sure our whole Familia will be understanding. We'll take Miss Haruhime, and we'll all run away, together. And someday, when we're stronger, we'll come back to Orario. <sighs> Master Bell. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> it's truly a privilege to share a familia with you. <laughs> now let's go cause some trouble for us and our friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show her the hero we've always dreamed about. A real hero. Aisha! We can't find the little rookie anywhere. I think he must have somehow gotten out of the red light district. Oh no, he'll come. Huh? <gasps> I know he may not have the face of a man, but he is an adventurer. They don't know when to quit. After I've located Lady Haruhime, I will shoot one of these flares off. Green means the operation was successful. Red means failure. And in the event I fail? Red or green, I'm finding out where they're holding the ritual. And I'm smashing that killing stone! Mm. At least, that should keep Miss Haruhime out of harm's way for now. But, Belle, 
Good luck to us both. I don't care if they drag me through the mud. I don't care if I look pathetic. Even if it's the last thing I do. I'll save her. I'll be her hero. Drawing them towards me. Hey, come over this way. Hey, sounds like they could use some backup. Are you sure you have time to be standing around? I really think you two ought to go and help them. Just shut up! We were specifically told to stand guard right here. Out of the way. <laughs> Time as possible. I am in your debt, Master Bell. Head to the front of the building. The rest of you secure the rear. Yes, yes ma'am. What the? Where's Lady Haruhime? And just why would I tell you that? She's near the hanging. Hanging gardens. The hanging gardens. <laughs> We're in luck. Little rookie has returned. <sighs> Samira, begin the preparations. Aisha, you're coming with me. We're going to entertain our honored guests. Very well, Friday. As for you two, you will escort the Renard to the Hanging Gardens when it's time. Right! Hey. Getting this far, kid. But it's the end of the line! Sorry, but you won't be getting away this time. You've only made it worse for yourself. Stand down, ladies. <sighs> Lady Ishtar. What's the big idea? We were just getting to the good part. Was I not crystal clear, Frené? What I said was stand down. <sighs> now make your way to the Killing Stone ritual. We will be successful this time. Failure is not an option. <sighs> <sighs> Bold of you to return to this place, child of Hestia. Is there someone here for whom you still have feelings? Uh. That's a rather amusing expression. I may be doing this despite that loathsome Freya, but at least I get a prize. Please tell me one thing. 
So why does... Why does Miss Haruhime have to be sacrificed? <laughs> you have the audacity to talk about another woman in my presence? How foolish. Answer my question! <sighs> we require her for the unique power she holds. <gasps> for the level boost? Exactly. If we use her sorcery to rank up our familia, we'll easily crush Freya and her children. It's really that simple, boy. I will finally drag that damn meddlesome woman down from her tower. Uh, you mean Lady Freya? Everything about her disgusts me. I despise the way men toss me aside and flock to her, like she's the most beautiful creature to walk the face of this planet. How exactly is that revolting pig more alluring than I am? It's like those stupid sons of bitches are under a blindness spell or something. But why sacrifice her? And why force her into prostitution? I don't get you. What do you have against prostitutes? Sharing a bed and abandoning oneself to pleasure is one of the most sacred of acts. Women keep the peace in this world by satiating the animalistic desires of men. Here in the lower world, the mingling of the sexes brings forth new life and connections. It's a glorious thing, really. Having sex with many partners is anything but wrong. Yeah, well, even if that is true, can't you see that Miss Harukime is suffering here? Ah, uh, enough already. I do not intend to argue with you. <laughs> Tamu's here is a level four. Your scrawny bird arms are no match for him. <laughs> what a little prude. Just what has Hestia been teaching you? Oh, I forgot she's a virgin goddess. Why'd you take off your... <laughs> Little rabbit, I'm going to charm you. Ready for a real woman? Mm. Lady Freya, I've received word from Alan and the others. Make the preparations. I'll be tagging along. Come on, open your eyes! No, I won't do it! Would you please put on some clothes? What is the matter with this kid? He should have fallen under my spell by now. Ugh. Strip him down at once! Yes, ma'am! He grows stronger with his emotions. That's impossible. So this brat is immune to the charms of a goddess? Yeah. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Tell me, <laughs> do not let him escape. Right. Damn you, insolent child. We have to get out of here. Follow me. Why did you bother coming here? Attempting to help me will only bring the wrath of the Ishtar Familia down upon you. But even so, Master Bell has declared he's going to rescue you. That's only because he is kind-hearted. You're wrong. He's not doing this just because he takes pity on you or feels guilty. Lady Mikato, please, I... I've had enough. You don't need to worry about me. Nonsense. Why do you insist on giving up? If you ask for help, Master Bell will never abandon you under any circumstances. That's not the type of man he is. You wouldn't understand, Miss Mikato. I'm just a prostitute. I give my body to people I don't even care about and then I take their money. Could you ever forgive yourself for that? I, I could never just ask him for help. I can't beg him to let me stay by his side with this tainted body. Oh, while well, knowing that I'd be putting him in danger? I can't do it. I just can't! Well, that's... I spy a little rat. Oh. <laughs> Miss Mikato! Oh no, did somebody...
gravity fall down? Not yet. <laughs> she failed? But Miss Mikato... No way! This is not over. <laughs> All right, now let's start the ritual. The Killing Stone. hero has arrived. Mikato, why? You must leave this place! No matter how many times you send me away, I will return. I'm going to save you! Wow, you sound like a real badass. Here. Oh, right! Hey, Phryne. Is it okay if you let me deal with this one? Uh. Come on, you guys had all the fun while I was stuck with preparations. Have a heart. Oh, fine. Do whatever you like. Well, you heard her. She's mine. You know, Lady Ishtar might even let you have the Renard if you somehow managed to beat all of us. No, wait! Please don't fight her, Miss Amira! She has nothing to do with any of this! You ready? doesn't look like she's doing so good. Not yet. <sighs> Master Bell, don't come out yet. Oh, and what exactly are you gonna do? Look, you're out of time. Uh. <sighs> Listen carefully, Mikato. Ninjas are devious. Deceit is not in your nature. However, a ninja is loyal to their comrades. Should a situation involve someone you care for, I believe a girl as kind and honest as yourself can become one of the greatest warriors in our time. Exceed the enemy's expectations. Let's stop wasting time and end it! Exceed expectations? God of strength? Really? Now you're using magic? I just said you're out of time, silly girl. <laughs> the bringer of... <laughs> Destruction! Uh, I watched I you use this spell you. during the war game! It takes Great way too long for you to cast, idiots! You're gonna lose anyway, so just uh, give up! Uh, what are you doing? Bless this trifling body! No friggin' With way! No Get away from me! Stop it! Let go, you uh, damn uh, wretched girl! See the enemy's uh, expectations! Uh, A ninja's uh, skill! The surprise uh, attack! Don't just stand there! Somebody get her off of me!
has launched an attack. Ugh, I possess sight, simpleton. Who would do something like this? Mommy! It can't be. She wouldn't dare. that I accompany you, Lady Freya? Please, you need not worry about me. Now I expect you all to carry out your duties. She and I are going to have a talk. Goddess to goddess. Or perhaps I should say, woman to woman. <laughs> You can't complete the ritual. Now please let Miss Harukime go! Hey! Come look! Everything's on fire! Oh, uh, what's going on down there? Don't mouth uh, off to me, stupid rabbit! What made you think we would just let her go? We can still use her if we get a new killing stone. Please leave this place. <sighs> I'm... I'm just a... It's because you're a prostitute, right? <sighs> and to a hero, you are a harbinger of ruin. That's what you once told me. However, the type of heroes both you and I look up to are not like that! <gasps> It doesn't matter! A true hero would rescue anyone! Without discrimination! That's the kind of hero I choose to be! So, Miss Haruhime, we're going to protect you! But I... I don't want to be a burden on all of you. I've been tainted! I don't deserve Stop it! Stop acting like you're worthless! Stop acting like we can't do anything to help! Being looked down on! And feeling dirty is nothing to be ashamed of! The most reprehensible thing you can do is to stand around and not take action while you try to make up your mind! You still haven't said what you want! Be honest and tell me what you feel in your heart! Haruhime! Start chanting. I want your sorcery magic used on me! Now! Hurry up! Everyone and run. Huh? But Aisha! It has to be them. 
The Freya Familia has come to destroy us. Uh, Without the Killing Stone, we have no chance of defeating them. The Ishtar Familia is doomed. What are you going to do, Aisha? I'm going to stay. I have some unfinished business with someone. We're going to make this very clear, Otarl. We don't care for Bel Cornell. He monopolizes our goddess's attention. We will obey her orders and eliminate the enemy. But we will not help him. Do as you wish. All that matters is you cut off Goddess Ishtar's escape route. kind of suspicious yeah what the hell's going on around here Hestia this fills me with concern yeah preserving Bell's innocence could very well be the least of our worries right now what's that supposed to mean Who in the hell are you guys? <clears throat> You're Smith, by the looks of it. Now be a good low-level peasant and go piss in your forge. You don't belong here. Uh, what did you just say? Don't bother, Master Wolf. That's Alan Frommel, a level six. Known as Vana Freya. <clears throat> My suspicions were correct. Yeah, Freya's making her move. At any rate, our objective is still the same. Let's hurry. We've got to find Bell and Mikato! <laughs> Doesn't it feel good? How will he make talent? Who in their right mind would be stupid enough to give up power like that? How will he may will be a key to victory now and forever! <laughs> No, she won't! She's not some tool you can just wield at will! How dare you! Lord, my flame! Coming with me! What? What's going on? It's on fire! Oh... <laughs> Greetings, Freyne Jamil. Uh, uh, what? What in the hell are you doing here? Uh, I get it. You're behind this. 
Forgive me! I will do anything! Oh, I know! I'll let you have your way with me! Isn't a filthy night of passion tempting? You can do whatever you want to me! Whatever you want! Come on! All this can be yours, baby! I can satisfy you even more than a goddess! You're free, I can't hold a candle to me! Huh? <sighs> Ugly wretch! That's blasphemy against our goddess! Blasphemy! Uh, Mikato, are you okay? Um, uh, ah, you're awake. What's going on? Why are you all here? What gave you the impression we would just abandon you two? I admit, you did cause us some worry when we found you, though. You were unresponsive. And Master Bell? We've been looking for him this whole time, but no luck. We have no idea where he is. The Hanging Gardens. Huh? We should make our way up to the Hanging Gardens. Now there's a face I can respect. However, don't expect me to just throw up my hands and walk away. Compensation is required in order to leave the Familia. You understand, don't you? And besides, even if Haruhime manages to flee from our familia, there are others out there who will attempt to use her once they learn of her power. Still eager to take her with you? All the consequences are irrelevant! I am going to save her! Very well. I do hope you realize that I am going to make you earn the girl, of course. too long and now the level boost wore off. That's fine. It works in my favor! Is she that senseless? Why would she go to such lengths for just one boy? I hope you've been well. Darling Ishtar. Freya? I'll cut to the chase. We need to talk. Rather, I suppose I've come to say fare thee well. Seize her at <laughs> once! <laughs> what adorable children you have, Ishtar. You... you charmed my own children? Please wait. I never meant anything by it, Freya. I had absolutely no idea the boy meant that much to you. It was an honest mistake. That's cute, dear. It's been fun watching your charade, and I've let your little pranks slide until now, but I can no longer tolerate it. It's over. You see, I'm going to make him mine, so any woman who lays a hand on him must be punished. I'm going to... destroy you. <laughs> oh, say it isn't so! It pains my heart to think it was I who spilled the beans about Belle to Lady Ishtar. And now... It has come to this! <sighs> so, about how much of this went according to your plan, Master Hermes? Oh, I merely lit the fuse. That was all. To be perfectly honest, I never thought it would get this bad. Ishtar's jealousy runs much deeper than I could have possibly imagined. Also, Lady Freya's love for Belle far exceeded my expectations. Perhaps most shocking was Belle. He was the biggest surprise. <laughs> That's it! This is why we can't bring ourselves to stop sleeping with men! You're all arrogant, wild, and strong! It's the men that get our blood pumping in a way that no one else can! Come forth, champion! 
champion of valor, greatest warrior, unyielding legend, cruel and selfish hero. Current champion? Prove thyself worthy of the queen's sash. Satisfy pierce and butcher thy flesh. Prove thyself worthy of the ravenous blade. Thy name is Hippolyta! Did you set out to try and destroy the Ishtar Familia? Was it just for fun? Or perhaps it was all a test? It's not my fault the world wants a hero. The gods, their children, even that poor lonesome lost soul. They are all seeking him out. Zeus! Aurario is going to finish what you started! We will do what you could not! Watch proudly over us as we raise him to be the very last hero! to an end. I'm afraid I've run out of patience. Listen, Freya. I'm going to let you in on something. Bel Crenel is immune to our power of charm. Aren't you curious as to why that is? <laughs> if you're telling the truth, then I'm even more impressed by him. In fact, that excites me more to have him. However, you do not need to be the one informing me of such things, Ashtar. Ah! <gasps> Leave us be. Yes, yes, ma'am. You managed to charm my subject? Then does that mean that your beauty is more powerful than mine? Why? What the hell could be the difference between you and me? Character. <gasps> well, what else could it possibly be? Now that you've learned your lesson, I'll have no more trouble out of you, Ishtar. Though I suppose it's a little too late. That light! I would assume it's from Ishtar. She must have been sent back to heaven. She's gone. She'll never be able to return to the lower world.
Hime. We really did it. I can hardly believe it. yourself. Miss Aisha, thank you for everything. I am indebted to you. If you hadn't done what you did, who knows Please, what would have happened? Please, Haruhime, ha don't get sappy. I was only following my impulsive nature. Mm. What are your plans now? Excellent question. The Kingdom of Rakia has set up a camp outside the city. I might pay them a visit. The Kingdom of Rakia? The Ares Familia. Their monstrous army is launching an attack on Orario as we speak. Luckily, they're all sizzle, no steak. They might number in the thousands, but ordinary soldiers are no match for seasoned adventurers. What a pain in the butt! Ares is totally stuck in the Dark Ages. So, we're under attack? Well, doesn't matter whether they win or lose. As long as there are men, my girls and I have a job to do. <sighs> Don't tell me it still bothers you. You do realize Aisha! that you- oh. We should get going soon! I know! Give me a moment! Anyway, Haruhime, you're free now. Live your life however you see fit. Okay, darling. I will. <laughs> and it better not get back to me that you're treating her poorly, Cronel. Uh if anything happens to my little Renard, your ass will be mine. <laughs> Ta-ta! So how did it go? I want to hear how she took it when you told her she never actually accomplished her nightly duties. Right? The poor little thing would always faint before the main event. You told her, didn't you? Eh, why bother? I don't see the point in bringing it up now. It seems they've already moved past all that, whether she's done something or not. Oh, very good. Sounds like it all worked out then. And Haruhime has joined the Hestia Familia? Hmm, I'm relieved to hear that. Well, we have you to thank, Master Hermes. I really appreciate you telling me about the Killing Stone. Don't thank me. I'm just a guy with a big mouth. You're the one who saved the damsel in distress. Great job, hero. I just reacted. I wanted to help her in any way possible. So tell me, are you familiar with the three great quests? The what? <laughs> right. Basically, the world's been waiting for a legendary hero. Pretty similar to how Haruhime was. Long ago has the world watched, looking towards Orario to fulfill its deepest desires. Hence, three great quests. They call for the extermination of three ancient monsters that emerged from the dungeon long ago. Behemoth, the king of the land. Leviathan, the lord of the sea. Now these two monsters already lay slain at the hands of the strongest familias in existence. Are you referring to Miss Eyes and the others? The Loki familia and the Freya familia? Nope, not them. Who I'm talking about are the Zeus and Hera familias. They were formerly hailed as the most powerful in the history of Orario. They combined their strength in order to challenge the third monster. However, they were wiped out. <sighs> the third monster is called the Black Dragon. Wait, do you mean the One-Eyed Beast from Dungeon Oratoria? I think I might know what you're talking about. It's the darkest shade of black anyone's ever seen. And its wings are the absence of light. It's a walking nightmare, a living legend, a herald of death. It isn't a fairy tale. The Black Dragon is lurking somewhere and is a real threat. The three great quests have yet to be completed. <laughs> and the world wants a hero. 
And remember, Bell, this responsibility falls on the shoulders of Arario's adventurers. Right. How is this possible? I demand to know how they could trounce my army like it's absolutely nothing! Oh, that's easy. We severely underestimated how strong Orario's adventurers are. They're wiping the floor with us. At this rate, they'll take us all prisoner. Let's just pack it up and go home. We honestly had no business starting this war in the first place. Uh, uh, Cease your foolishness! Such impudence is inexcusable! Your father, Martinus, has never had a problem following my orders. There's a reason why they call my father the king of pushovers. It's because he indulges in your idiotic blathering. You dare speak to a god that way, Martin? <laughs> I'm just calling it like I see it, numbskull. I'm not a numbskull. Only a numbskull would call a numbskull a numbskull, you numbskull. I'm back, Miss Haruhime. Uh, hello! Welcome home, Master Bell! Whoa! Doing laundry for six must be tough. Let me give you a hand with that. You... you mustn't, Master Bell! It's fine. I'm happy to help out. No! Uh, that's not what I'm referring to. Don't worry about it. No, wait! Stop! <laughs> oh, sorry! Am I interrupting something? What exactly are the two of you smiling about down there? Lady has it to... Got decision. From now on, physical contact with the opposite sex is strictly prohibited within my familia, got it? Uh? Wait, what? Am I clear? Uh, yes? Yes? <laughs> that includes her dumb tail! I'm sorry! This is abuse of power! Not letting us have any physical contact is going to have a negative effect on our activities in the dungeon. Sounds like a personal problem. You're a smart cookie, though. I The same rule applies to you too, right? So there will be no more touching Master Bell from now on. I'm the goddess of this familia! If I can't touch him, then how in the hell am I supposed to update his status? Sounds what like the a hell personal problem. This? You're I'm smart sorry to say this is all my fault. Stop being such a stupid head! I'm a stupid head! Oh. <laughs> Fine! In the event touching is necessary, no flirting is allowed. Indecent behavior comes from a lewd mind, so any obscene conduct is unacceptable! Question? If we can't associate with the opposite sex, then, uh, does that apply to gods as well? Hmm? Actually, I was wondering the same thing. I'm kind of uh, good friends with Lady Hephaestus, so, uh... uh... <laughs> That's totally fine! I wholeheartedly welcome feelings of love between gods and their children. It's a dream of mine to see our romance blossom, just as it did between spirits and our children before we descended from heaven! How do you feel about it, Belle? Wait, what? Are you kidding me? I see through your shenanigans, holding God to a different standard is unfair! Ah! Fine then! Do whatever you want! I really couldn't care less! Ah! So, Belle, hypothetically, let's say there's this beautiful goddess and one day she admits her feelings for you. How would you reply? Oh, I'd turn her down. Ah! It'd never happen anyway. Besides, even if a goddess did ask me out, I couldn't imagine dating one. It'd be way too intimidating. Uh, well, uh, you... Lady has... Yeah. Big... Uh. <laughs> Think we'll see her again? I have a feeling she won't be back for a while. Uh, goddess! Why did she... You kind of had that coming, Belle. Huh? You did word it a little harshly. But the gods are gods. We're supposed to respect them. So then, does that exact same logic apply if you're talking about the relationship between adventurers and supporters? Huh? If you refuse to give someone a chance just because they came from a different background than you, don't you think that would probably hurt their feelings pretty badly? Go look for her! 
Do you think he actually gets it? Come on, sweetie. We Get on your feet. You here. look so sad no, down there. Good time. This saber is a product of Aurorio. Act now for a 20% discount. First come, first serve, boys. Watch how it slices through a tomato with ease. <laughs> If you're not feeling well, you should use this medicine made in Orario. For just a small fee, you'll feel as good as new. <sighs> not a decent one among them. I should have expected as much from a bunch of grunts. Aisha! <sighs> Some fresh meat just rolled in over that way. Let's take advantage. Great. Be right there. Hmm. I've made a decision. Given the circumstances, I shall turn into Orario myself. What? You planning on sightseeing or something? Don't be an idiot. In order to turn the tide, I'm planning on abducting one of their local gods. I'll kidnap them. No, I'll godnap them. And then I'll force those Arario nitwits to surrender. Oh, my freaking me. My new plan is foolproof. Are you crazy? How exactly do you plan on sneaking into Orario? Make haste, Marius. Assemble a group of our finest men. Today, we abduct a god, whomever it may be. You haven't even decided which god you're going for? How big of a hot-headed dumbass can you be? Come back! Sorry, honey, we're fresh out. Goddess. Where could she have gone? Is that you, Belle? Uh. Hey there, been a while. Master Miok, Lady Hephaestus. Hey, uh, have either of you seen my goddess lately? Hestia, huh? Hmm. I'm sorry, Belle. I'm afraid I haven't seen her around. Yeah, I haven't seen her either. No worries. Well, thank you anyway. I should get going. Belle, we don't mind lending an ear if you aren't in a hurry. Huh? Let me guess. You got into a fight. I can see it on your face. I'm not really sure how it escalated so quickly. So, uh, can I ask you something? Has a god or goddess ever, you know, uh, fallen in love with someone from the lower world? Would that even, even be possible? Of course. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Really? Honestly speaking, we sometimes find ourselves quite drawn to you children. It's true. Fondness, a passing fancy, motherly or fatherly love. Our love takes on many forms, but there's no denying that we have a soft spot for our children. Sometimes, there may be feelings of romantic interest. Uh, uh, but we're talking about gods being with people here. We're completely different from each other. Who we are, our backgrounds, and even how long we live. What is it exactly that you're afraid of, Belle? <gasps> you see, in our eyes, that love lasts a mere moment. From our children's perspective, that same love lasts their entire life. If you find yourself being pursued by a goddess, make sure you give her a proper answer. Even if there's someone else out there you have feelings for. Got it? We aren't suggesting that you should be intimidated by a deity. Just speak honestly and openly. That's all you really have to do. I'm sure there are many gods out there who would understand and accept your answer. So, please don't run away from a god's love. Turn them down gracefully or take them up on the offer. Just don't be afraid. keep customers waiting. I won't be able to keep up with demand with just the one sack. I'm going to need another big bag for the cart over on Main Street. All right, I'll leave you to it. Huh? But boss! Thank you! Dang it. I'm a god, you know. <sighs> Doesn't she realize I can't just leave Arario whenever I feel like it? Great. It looks like it's about to rain. But I suppose it'd be pretty hard to make potato poppers without the main ingredient. Hey, hold it! Hmm? 
Wait, Hestia? Ganesha? What you say, Marius? Isn't this a splendid disguise? Keep your voice down! Besides, it's not much of a disguise. All you did was put on a cloak. Anyway, what exactly is your plan now? It's quite simple, really. We locate a suitable target inside the city walls, seize them, and bring them back with us. That's all you came up with? Just how stupid are you? Thanks a lot, Ganesha. I really appreciate you letting me sneak through the gate. Of course. Potato poppers enrich our city and the lives of its citizens. Let no man nor noble god deny you permission to gather potatoes for the greater good. I am... <laughs> Ganesha! I can't believe I have to go deliver potatoes. Hmm? Uh-huh. Hestia? Ares? <laughs> Did you see that, Marius? I've captured a god without ever setting foot in Orario! Now you can see the genius behind my plan. You're a jackass. All right, let's go. Oh, wait! Um? Thanks so much to you both. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. I hope what we said helps you, if only a little. Yes, it helps. Although, honestly, I'm still not quite sure what I should do. You can start by finding Hestia. You should patch things up first. Right. I wonder if maybe she's headed back to the mansion already. Huh? Miss Eyes! Uh. Come with us. Huh? That shrimp, I swear. Always such a pain in my ass. Is it true that my goddess, she was kidnapped? Yeah, unfortunately it's true. It's all thanks to a certain masked idiot letting her waltz out of the gate. I am Ganesha. I don't want to hear another word out of you, moron! I am Ganesha! Shut your face! No, my Hestia. Finn, any word from the party? Not yet. The enemy forces have split off into several groups moving in different directions. And that means we don't know who to follow since we don't know who has the little runt. Plus, we gotta chase them through the mountains, so we better hurry or we'll lose them. I'm a bit embarrassed to admit it, but they're likely more familiar with the terrain outside of Orario than we are. I'm going out there. Hold up, Icy Poo! You don't have to go out of your way for that annoying little half-pint. Someone has to chase after her. Very well, Ice. We'll leave it to you. I... I'm going too! Mm -hmm. oh, come on! Were you even listening, Belle? Eyes told us she's got this. You're just gonna get in her way. Uh, uh, but she's my goddess! She's my responsibility! So please, let me go too! Uh, fine, whatever. But if we chase the target blindly, the culprits might escape. If we could just narrow down which one of their groups has Lady Hestia. I think I may be of assistance. Master Hermes, you just need to know where Hestia is, right? Can you help with that? Sure. I've got Perseus, Osby at my side! If we 
capture her, Aurorio's adventurers won't be able to follow us. Hey, Marius! Don't give orders like you're in charge. I am the god here. Give it a rest. I'm telling you, we need to use this chance to make our retreat. You thick-headed donkey! Goddess! Uh, you came, Val? Goddess, are you awake? Uh, Bell? So how are you feeling? Are you in any pain? No. I don't think that I'm hurt, but I still feel a bit lightheaded. I think you still have a fever. Have some water. Um, hey, Bell, where are we? A village in the mountains, and this is the home of their chief. Miss Eyes came to our rescue after we got washed down the river. So where's Mull and what's your name? Scoping out the area around the village. She thinks Master Ares and his men might still be close by. Oh, I'm so sorry, Belle. It's all my fault that everyone got dragged into this. Come in! Please pardon the interruption, my friend. How is she faring? Ah, Mr. Calm! Hestia woke up just a minute ago. Ah, oh, I'm delighted to hear that. Oh. I appreciate your help. I'm truly grateful. It was no trouble. Uh. I don't mean to be a bother, but I'd like to rest here a while longer, if that's okay. Of course it's fine. Please do not hesitate to make yourself at home, goddess. My daughter Rena here will be more than happy to assist you should you need anything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome back. How is Lady Hestia? She was awake for a while, but she fell back asleep. So, how did it go? There was no sign of the Rockian soldiers or Miss Osfi. I was only able to find traces of a battle. Do you think they retreated? I don't know. But I do think it would be wise to lay low for the time being. Oh! We should stay here, then, for a little bit longer. <clears throat> right. <laughs> Father, are you okay? <clears throat> Thank you. I'm all right. I am quite fortunate to have such a thoughtful daughter looking after me. Now... Don't worry, go get some rest. Tomorrow you'll have a very full day with the goddess. Okay. Good night, Father. Sleep well. There's no need to apologize. This place is pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. The villagers are so friendly and welcoming. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Would you care for some tea? Thank you very much. We're holding a festival this evening to pray for a bountiful harvest. Everyone's eager to get things ready now that the rain's let up. Sounds fun. Oh, thank you. Hey, Belle. I bet they could use another hand with the preparations. But your condition. Shouldn't I stay here? They've taken such good care of us. If we didn't repay them, it would bring shame on our familia. I'm counting on you. If you insist, I'll be back later. Mm morning. Good. Good morning. So what do you think? Everyone said it suits me, but I'm not real sure. Uh, uh, no! It looks great on you! <laughs> Are you headed somewhere? 
I'm on my way to lend a hand for the festival. Festival? I feel bad making a guest help out like this. It's fine. We're incredibly grateful. <sighs> Look at her. She's every man's dream. Are all the girls in Orario that gorgeous? Oh, um, we have some variety. There. That'll do it. I'll come get you if we happen to need anything else. Sure. Just let me know. What is this? It's a scale that uh, once belonged to the uh, mighty Black Dragon. Black Dragon? It isn't a fairy tale. The Black Dragon is lurking somewhere and is a real threat. The three great quests have yet to be completed. It's a scale from the Black Dragon? That's right. A long time ago when the Black Dragon was driven out of Orario by the legendary hero, a few damaged scales fell to our village as it fled north. There are both big and little ones. We have around 10 in total. And it's all thanks to these scales that we have protection. With these, monsters really keep their distance. What do you mean by that? Being that they are the scales of the mighty Black Dragon, ordinary monsters won't come anywhere near them. They let us live in peace as long as we show gratitude. It's just our way. I know, worshiping a monster seems pretty weird, but hey, it works. You see, we can't really rely on the gods or the adventurers. We have no one out there to protect us. We put our faith in these scales. The One-Eyed Dragon of Legend. The dragon that has the potential to destroy the world? Protects them? You know, if something ever happened to that mighty black dragon, I have no idea what we would do. It is why we must pay our respects. Uh, Miss Eyes? I guess they think it's sort of a god. That thing is not a god. Huh? <sighs> Let's go. Oh, uh, okay. <sighs> Goddess, I'm back from the... Uh, huh? Mr. Calm, is there something the matter? Oh. Mr. Bell, what great timing. Could you spare an old man a moment of your time? Let me ask you, would you say you love your goddess from the very bottom of your heart? Yes, of course. She's the one who took me in when I had nowhere else to go. Hmm. Mr. Bell, take a look at this emblem. Are you familiar with this symbol? I think it's an emblem for one of the familias. Is that correct? Yes. A very long time ago, I was once a member of a goddess's familia. I loved her dearly, and was blessed because she returned the very same sentiment. She was everything. We vowed our love to one another. However, in the end, I wasn't able to protect her. to escape with my life while she was sent back to heaven forever. Many times I considered following after her, but I couldn't squander the life for which she had sacrificed her own. I came to this village and have been here since. I never could bring myself to take a wife of my own after that. But what about Rena? She's adopted. All of the children with no living relatives have been put in my charge. Rena's a sweet girl. She takes care of me now. However... <coughs> Mr. Calm! Are you feeling okay? Should I get Miss Rena? There's no need to be concerned. I know this frail body of mine better than any. Better than any. Mr. Bell, take care of her. Please be sure to cherish your goddess. <coughs> 
Mr. Calm. <coughs> Remember what I've told you, if only as the foolish words of a dying man. But please, you mustn't end up with the same regrets as I carry. I don't feel dizzy anymore. Although Belle has been pretty sweet to me this whole time. Maybe I'll play sick a little longer. <laughs> oh. C come in. Hestia? Well, and what's your nuisance? <laughs> what do you want? I brought you something to eat. Why? Where's Belle? He told me he needed to speak with the village chief. Mm. Oh, yeah. I guess I never actually properly thanked you for saving us. So thanks a lot for what you did back there. It's fine. <clears throat> so, by the way, what exactly are your feelings on my precious bell then? My feelings? Oh, come on, you know! What sort of impression do you get when you look at him? Mm. Hmm? Oh. A rabbit? <laughs> I had faith in you this whole time! Just to make sure you don't get too friendly with him, okay? Rabbits can get carried away pretty easily, you know? I think I... understand. Special guest is here. Let's start the harvest dance. So, what is a harvest dance? Well, I I wouldn't exactly call it a tradition, but when a single fella invites a lady to dance, it's like admitting his feelings. And if the young lady accepts, they become a couple. Yeah, a couple, you say? We would be honored if you would join the festivities with us. Wait, what? You mean me? Oh, good idea! If we have a goddess dancing with us, we'll have a bountiful harvest for sure! Come and join us! Yes. Join the party! I should! Okay, okay, fine, I'll dance! Is she a goddess of the harvest? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure she's more like Bell, a... Well, Belle? Hmm? It looks like it's my time to shine! I'm going to go and perform my divine duties as a goddess! And just so you know, if you ask me to dance, I'd consider forgetting about your little incident the other day. What incident? You know, like when I ran from the mansion calling you a big jerk. That whole thing. So, Belle, hypothetically, let's say there's this beautiful goddess and one day she admits her feelings for you. How would you reply? Uh, Mr. Bell, take care of her. Please be sure to cherish your goddess. <sighs> All right, goddess. Let's dance. Only if you're willing to do it the right way, Belle. And I know you're capable because I saw you with Bull and What's Your Sleazy here at Apollo's banquet. <laughs> Come on, bud. You gotta get out there and dance. You can do it. Go! Go! Will, will you please have this dance with me? Goddess? <laughs> sure. It goes without saying that I adore my goddess. She's the most important person in my life. But... <laughs> How much longer will she and I? to be together. Don't be afraid. You mustn't end up with the same regrets as I carry. Uh, uh. Rena, what's wrong? The chief! My father! <sighs> Mr. Calm. Father? 
brought her here. Ah, Goddess Hestia. Thank you for coming to see me one last time. Don't be silly, Kam. You opened your home to us. It's the very least I can do. <sighs> when I first laid these tired eyes on you, you reminded me of my dear lady Bridget. Did you just say Bridget? The goddess with blonde hair and dark red eyes? You mean that Bridget? You know of Lady Bridget? Oh, of course. Bridget was one of my best friends. We hung out all the time back in heaven. We fought a lot, too. I'm happy to hear that. She was a gentle soul. She got along with everyone she met, and yet she fell in love with a man like me. Are you serious? Oh, come, please don't let her fool you. Bridget was a feisty one. She would always tease me and call me names every time she was on the losing side of an argument. I bet she was just trying to make herself look good in front of you. <laughs> Is that how it was? I suppose I never saw that side. <laughs> Goddess, please tell me. When I make my journey to heaven, will I get to... See her again? I'm sure she'll manage to track you down. She's stubborn like that. Honestly, I fear that I won't see her ever again. I'm afraid. <laughs> Lady Bridget, please forgive me. I wasn't able to protect you. I'm sorry. Thank you, Kong. Thank you for loving me so deeply. I will always love you. Now and forever. My love, my love, my Lady Bridget. Me too. I love you. Now and for. Hey, Goddess. Do you think that Mr. Calm's back with Lady Bridget? Honestly, it'd be difficult. When souls journey back to heaven, they return to a blank canvas state. They forget pretty much everything, and then they're born again in the lower world. <sighs> it'd be less painful for us gods and you children if we didn't swear our love to one another. Isn't that what you're wondering? We humans pass on before you. Sooner or later. Belle, you know the pain of being left behind, don't you? Back when my grandpa died, it felt like no amount of tears could ever ease the sadness. One day my life will end, and on that day I'll be forced to forget everything. But gods... They live on forever. I can't imagine bearing that pain for eternity. You'll drive yourself mad if you think about it too much. I believe that we should just... Listen, Belle. Us gods and you children might not always get to live in this world at the same time. But I promise I will always be by your side. No matter how old you get... Even as an old man, I'll always be with you. I'm never going to let you go. Goddess... Hestia... And don't you worry, even if we were separated by the grave, I know for a fact we would find one another. Cause you know what? It could take hundreds, or tens of thousands of years. I know I will find you again. Even if you're reborn as someone totally different. <laughs> and then I'll ask you, won't you join me? And be a part of my familia, please. 
It doesn't matter whether it's the lower world or heaven. It'll be just like with Bridget and Mr. Com. I will always find a way to meet you again. So don't worry, Belle. Living forever will leave me with lots of time on my hands. So please, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of loving us. Goddess. I want to... I... I want to... Stay with you. Forever, okay? We'll always be together, Belle. Promise. Well then, shall we? Yeah! This was such a nice place. I hope we can visit again sometime. If you go, I'll come with you. What? Are you sure? Of course. What are the two of you making plans for? You have your own familia! Go with them, Valen Watcher Who's It! Please, it's fine! Calm down, goddess! Shut up! This is between us women. Are you even listening, Valen? Oh, 